on top of everything, please do not worry. No, uh, welcome everybody. If you are uh, new to the show, uh, welcome. This is the Pencils of Parsecs where we play the Star Wars Edge of the Empire role-playing system here on Hyper RPG. If you are returning, welcome back. Also, a uh, quick shout out last week, 48 hour charity drive. Yay! Uh, hopefully you saw the uh, holiday special episode. If you didn't, on YouTube right now, go check it it's out. Bananas. I don't want to brag or anything, but I, I feel like we might have been one of the top earning shows. It was I mean, so good. We did pretty well. Um, pretty good. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go through this real quick because we've been here before. If you're new, you'll everything will make sense in time. Uh, this is a show where you can affect uh, the players as they're doing their thing immediately by using uh, tips and subscribers to affect uh, the dice pool and the uh, galactic event chart that we have. We're no longer using bits and tweets to do that, um, but please continue to tweet things out because that's fun. Um, if that didn't make sense, it's because what we do is uh, we start the game up and in our increments, we have a uh, force bar that moves either to the light side or the dark based off uh, the uh, interactions of the audience. And that will land and end in either a tier one, two, or three light side or tier one, two, or three dark side, which affects a huge galactic uh, event and also immediately affects the players. So for example, for the charity drive, we ended on a tier three light side. Woo! And you guys were all action figures at the time. Seriously, go check this out. <laughs> uh, and so everyone's brawn was increased because you went from regular oh, yeah, action figures right. to the Kenner Power the of the Kenner Force Power. eight ad yes. ones. So for the next hour into this, everybody <laughs> has a uh, plus one to your brawn, which is nuts. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah, and buddy. then, yes, speaking of um, the system, I have a friend of mine who's going to come out and we're going to talk about some things in a minute. I hear him. If he wants to. Hey! Hey, buddy. No, I'm working. No, I know. You're hey, guys. So working. we've been listening to your feedback, and um, how do I put this? Uh, you guys don't like that we get pretty competitive <laughs> about Dark Side needing to win everything. So it's just <laughs> for fun, but also Dark Side wins all the time. It's just for fun. Sure, but sure, sometimes not people <laughs> get really sensitive about other people having mm -hmm. fun, um, while other people are not as good at that fun on the light side. So <laughs> we've been discussing yeah. ways to adapt the system to where. Um, People don't feel cheated or sniped at the end of the timer and things like that. So we're discussing doing a system where it's more of a bar mm -hmm. and both sides are um, trying to unlock items. So say we have a light side bar and a dark side bar, each of them with a tier one um, buff, a tier two buff, and a tier three buff, where both sides are going towards trying to unlock things. Obviously, dark side would be unlocking things for Bert. The more you get, the more it makes, uh, or the bigger the the item. Yep. And same for light side. So yep. neither side is losing out. Yep. Neither side loses. It's just how far, how can, far you go? can you go to get the buffs? Um, and whichever side is currently in the lead is where the lights would be. Um, yes. But it doesn't necessarily mean that the other side is losing, per, per se. se. So, we're working on it. Uh, we're hopefully going to be able to release that system next week. Next week. Uh, but this week, we want you to keep playing with this game and have fun. Have fun. Yeah. It's all for Damn fun. It. It's for fun. <laughs> it's a game. Also, also, this would be like a limited time offer last time you can use this system. So, oh. think of it like that. Snipe hard. Get in Speaking on this. Speaking of which, we are no longer taking bits. Yep. Uh, that's nice. just going to be a channel-wide mandate for all of our meta games right now. Uh, because we lose 40% and we saw after two months of doing it that that 40% is a lot. Yeah. So we're not going to be doing that anymore. Um, so tonight it is tips and subscriptions. Subscriptions are still worth more and you would need to message us with hashtag light side or dark side and that will definitely affect things. So thanks, Bert. Yeah. So because we have uh, this special week where we're using the system one last time, uh, I have my tiers. Uh, I think I still, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some th thinkamajig on this and try and figure out how we can keep this event system still in play, because oh, I think yeah. it's actually one of the more fun ones, mm -hmm. uh, especially because I started doing the whole tier ones turned into tier twos yeah. and so on and so forth. So last week we resolved a lot of tier ones and they're here now as tier twos, but we're going to go through it. So first one uh, is, the first tier one is uh, a family of Keldor who have invested their entire life savings in a new business of shipping. So light side, dark side. How's that going to play out for them? Yeah. Also, how's that going to play?
play out as a bigger thing in the story. I know, but we'll see. Uh, next, we have a heist. Uh, so we have a bunch of mercenaries that are trying to formulate an elaborate heist, and they're in their initial phases. So that's a tier one that could grow exponentially bigger. Uh, last, but definitely not least, last tier one. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but you guys found a holocron way back when. I remember. And <laughs> you guys also lost, lost a holocron <laughs> way back lost when. Lost is a strong word. The <laughs> entities that possess your holocron are trying to activate it. Damn. So, uh, tier, that light side, dark side. Unfortunately, you know nothing about it, but that could potentially have some interesting effects because you don't know who ha who owns it and you want it light side or dark side. So that's another tier one. But moving on to tier twos, which were resolved from last week, we still have uh, those slaver scouts that are looking for a planet to right. kind of capitalize on. So that's a tier two. That will go to a tier three. Uh, we have the Alderanian fleet. Last time, uh, a bunch of survivors kind of formed a flotilla of ships, and they're kind of moving around as a network of boohoo, I lost my planet. Uh, <laughs> and they decided to stick with, we ended light side, their message of peace. So they're moving around the galaxy, despite everything that happened to them, spreading a message of peace. Light side, dark side, let's see how that ends for them. Hashtag dark. Uh, and then last on the tier twos, good old Aaron Val, Pirate King. Oh God. It's back yet again. again. The continuing Damn adventures. <laughs> Aaron Val, as he is trying That's to reclaim <laughs> his <laughs> fleet <laughs> of ships, uh, we'll see where that goes again. Dark side, light side, we'll see. Uh, his fate quite literally in your hands. And then the big tier threes, which uh, I think are some of the, represent these huge big things. For example, we have the Wookiee in our timeline. The Wookiees have freed themselves on uh, Kashyyyk. Uh, the Mon Care Mines have uh, escaped their blockade uh, with a bunch of their ships, so on and so forth. The Empire was able to develop Dark Troopers a little bit earlier. Uh, it's all big, crazy stuff. Uh, so the first one is back to Kamino. They found that template of something maybe in the archives. What did the Empire find? Hopefully something really good, really good. Um, and then we have, speaking of Mon Calamari, so the tears have been, they've been able to escape. Um, and then the Empire tried to conquer the planet and they failed. So now the Rebel Alliance is going back to Mon Calamari to destroy the Imperial Blockade and liberate the planet as a whole from uh, being besieged. So, could be a cool tier three ending that. We have Wookiees free, we have Mon Calamari free, we got makings of a wonderful buddy cop movie. Uh, <laughs> last but not least, we have a criminal power struggle. So, some of these things aren't as necessarily so clear cut uh, light and dark. So we have two organizations. One is uh, Jabba the Hutt, uh, Hutt Cartel, and then Black Sun, Sun vying for power. So, light side, dark side affects one of those two. Um, and we'll see, so with that, Hopefully all that makes sense. Uh, if it doesn't, be sure to ask someone and they will politely tell you in the chat. You'll see it as it unfolds. Um, I think that's everything. So without further ado, let's all go back to a galaxy far, far away. Wow. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Hi. Happy Friday. Hi. Happy, happy Friday. 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 Uh, I am so happy to have you here. <laughs> um, last we left, you guys were in a little bit of a predicament. You a are bit. <laughs> in the caves underneath the Imperial base on Dantooine, trying mm -hmm. to find the Jedi Enclave that's there. Uh, that being said, you had a little contingent of cave troopers that were with you. Seems like some of them are dead, uh, and then some of them are alive, and possibly one might be your contact. You don't fully know. We ended on a cliffhanger because uh, inhabiting the caves are a bunch of insectoid-like creatures that have a hankering for your guys' flesh. And last yeah. we left, they were swarming you guys, so... <laughs> I uh, mean, we didn't actually yeah. see them, but we heard them. Yeah. They sounded like they're on their way. Okay. So, uh, with that being said, you have you guys, we have um, uh, um, uh, Virgo and uh, Caleb are also there with you. Not here in physical not physically presence. here <laughs> and then uh you also had the two troopers you don't mm -hmm. think you know their names yet uh one is the, the sergeant who is uh, unconscious and then you have the the male who has revealed himself potentially to be your our contact uh, contact so with that i'm going to start the timer up we're going to get right. this going and <laughs> away we go you hear
hearing them crawl, you're hearing these creatures, these, these sounds echo off the caves of this kind of bigger ravine that you're about to go into, but it seems like there's a swarm of these creatures. And right now, do we have any sort of light source whatsoever? Uh, you still have those minor light You like have the, well, one of them was here. thrown. Uh, here. Yeah, the one wall, of them was thrown, yeah. But the rest of you have your cave gear, so you do have some illumination in this. But not okay. much. Not much. And the sounds are getting uh, louder and closer. It's like that one part in the Indiana Jones ride in Disneyland where you oh, just see yeah. the bugs. On it's the just walls. like that part, yeah. except the bugs are a lot bigger. Yeah. Uh, if I recall correctly, he was very distraught over the girl being unconscious. The trooper who has removed his helmet yes. is extremely distraught. He just keeps repeating, I, I can't, I don't know, why did I do that? I can't believe, I don't, I, I can't believe I did that. Spaced out, staring at. Wait, the can't body. believe, can't believe I did that. Wait, you're you're responsible. He's to himself. You're responsible for this. Hello. Listen, right now is not the time to freak out. I think that whatever is living in this cave is closing in on us. So I suggest that we get a move on. Use your charm. Okay. So we have also have a new interesting system. So we have your dice, uh, oh, yeah. all kind of electronic, digitized on I devices. Uh, so bear with us as we test this out. But okay. I think I'm gonna do this. Okay. Did you? Oh, that's you. Plug that in. I picked him. Perfect. Perfect. So it's gonna be uh, three purple. So I could do this. Oh. Yep. Wait. Yep. 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 Okay. And then I just shake and it. And then we have no <laughs> dice, so we're locked in. Just, yeah. Locked uh, in. Shake that up. Uh, Boom. I don't I don't know. Oh, no, it ended up being so it, it automatically calculates everything. So Where does it, it automatically shout out the bottom? bottom. So one, that is one disadvantage, d- disadvantage and no successes, so Oh great. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that new no, I don't like this new system. <laughs> you continue to talk to him, uh, but he just gets quiet and starts rocking and shaking and, <sighs> and seems to retreat farther into himself. Um, as <clears> he does that you sound almost seems to be on top of you as these creatures start to move closer and you're starting to see uh, their shadows and shadows shapes. being reflected off the tops of the caves as these creatures and they have these bright red eyes as they seem to come closer. Captain. How many are there? Uh, as far as you can see, it seems like there's at least 20 of them. Are at they are they like as little as the last ones we saw? Or do they seem bigger? They, uh, you, it's hard to tell because all you see is their eyes, but it looks like there is uh, all the same size that we encountered before. Okay, I still have that one thing. You do. I'm gonna use it. Okay. <laughs> Captain, what are your orders, Captain? I'm gonna use the stick thing that they, that officer gave us back before we left in here and it, just hope for the best. It but worked the last time. It did, but just be ready in case it doesn't. It's a brilliant, Captain. Should what? I use the stick thing? I, I think I got it, Herc. Okay. So, you That's the official name. You start to see them <laughs> the as they thing. get closer and closer to you, and it's definitely a swarm of these creatures. Um, but you pull out this mm-hmm. vial, this kind of device that was handed to you, and you shake it and crack it and throw it out. Mm-hmm. And as it lands, it <clears throat> echoes off uh, the caves. They continue to seem to move closer and closer, but then <laughs> it starts emitting this strange kind of vapor and they stop. And they let out a squeal. And they start to dissipate and go retreat back into the caves. But there's a few that continue to linger. And one that seems slightly larger than the rest that emerges from all these other that disappear. It rises up, towering above the cave. And you realize that the other ones were about the sizes of like huskies, but this seems to be right. the size of like a large, you know, like, Horse, or maybe like Jeez. even maybe the possible size of something like bigger. And like as a it, polar bear. As it raises up and starts to come at you because mm. it's enraged by the, uh, the odor that it smells, <coughs> the darkness of the cave uh, erupts in light as you see uh, the fire of a blaster <laughs> repeatedly hit this creature in the face <laughs> <laughs> and it melts off part of its face, <laughs> and it retreats <clears throat> off back into the darkness. Where did that come from? I don't know. And stepping out around the corner, you see another cave trooper that 
It seems battered and maybe uh, somewhat. Uh, I hate those things. I immediately train my, my heavy <coughs> blaster at him. I take my vibro axe out. <sighs> Captain? Hold on. If this, have you been surviving down here this whole time? Yeah. What do you got, cave gear? What do you guys been down there? What have you been investigating this place? The Empire sent us. The Empire sent you? Well. The Empire sent you? Well, sort of. It's complicated. Put that thing down. Aren't you a little old to be a stormtrooper? <laughs> It's a leg on the legacy. Are you sure you know how to use that thing, kid? Yes. I don't know. Who are you calling kid? I'm a nine foot tall cat creature. Yeah, but I can see how small your balls are. You're, you're oh. still growing. Captain, can I kill him? No, no, no let's not. He said something okay, about my balls. I understand Captain. Herg. It's going to be, he okay. Balls, Herg, is an insult. Herg. Herg. Herg, calm down. Captain, uh. to humanoids, that is an insult. I just saved I you guys. I don't care about my balls. I'm not insecure, but he was insulting me. Right, I know. I should kill him you, for that. No, that, that's perhaps a little if extreme. If he really wanted to insult a Tagorian, he would say that my penis is not so barbed shaped. Okay. Oh. He did not. <laughs> he mentioned my balls like a fool. Herc, he might now, not. I am the one Herc, who's he's been living in a cave. He might not be all that educated. He will be living in, in his ass. A okay. Tagorian. Uh, whoa, a Tagorian. Yes. Oh, I haven't seen one of these in such a long time. Nine foot tall. Yes. Are you sure you're not compensating? Are you sure you can't look correctly? I can't, no, I just, it's dark. You see how dark it is down here? I can't tell you're nine foot tall. Here, I step into some kind of a light. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, I'm sorry okay. about your balls. Just calm down. Let's just all backpedal for a second here. He called you Captain. Yes. What's your name? Kalara Fay. Captain Kalara Fay? Yes. That is Captain Kilarfi. I just you. said that. What Captain, just, I that just. That is what he said. They never were smart, the Tagarians. We are what stuck is, down here. Yes, I noticed that. You also see, uh, as this group of, uh, of aliens and uh, someone, uh, this captain who's introduced himself, is wearing an Imperial uniform. Yeah. And you also see, uh, kind of beyond them, two other troopers. Um, both of them have their helmets removed, so you can't see what they're. Um, ID codes are, right. but they look, one clearly looks to be wounded and unconscious, and the other one seems to be kind of giving you a thousand yard stare. What happened to that trooper on the ground? Well, as you may have noticed, there's been a little bit of a cave-in situation. The yes, I noticed. one who was on the ground sustained some damage one of the other escorts who was down here with us uh self-destructed you talking about chico over there the one that's just staring at me no well he sounded like he might have had something to do with it but did you try to talk to him i tried he's not very coherent at the moment let me try i want to ask him I want to ask him what happened. Okay. How do I do that? Uh, you're going to use your uh, leadership in this. All right, it's too green. How do I clear the oh, screen? I'm going to do it for you. Uh, there we go. Oh. Okay. And it's going to be three purple. Ooh. Well, oh. We have some oh. boosts. Oh, and you have and abilities. So if you look okay. here on uh, this screen, you have some dice that you can add into that uh, to help you out. You should add some boosts. All right. So the blue so ones. The blue ones? Where, Where are the blue ones? ones? They might be over here, I guess. Is it white? Uh, oh, oh, there, we oh, there it is. Okay. How many should I add? Take two. Take two. Uh, yeah. yeah. And right. then you guys are locked in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to okay. be locked in as well. So go ahead and roll that. I think you can just shake. Oh, there we go. Ooh. No, no results. results. No results. Nothing. Nothing. Literally canceled out. So. <clears throat> he keeps staring at me. He keeps staring at you. <laughs> Trooper. Damn it, I've seen that before. He's not gonna be talking to us for a while. I'm gonna go check on the other trooper. You guys figure out what we're gonna do next. How close are okay. the creatures? Are they coming back or have they retreated? As far as you can tell, it seems like there's nothing immediately okay. in your presence. Uh, looking around, 
is there just kind of one way to go? The cave behind you has uh, collapsed and moving forward uh, is one clearly defined uh, kind of pathway heading back to where uh, this trooper that you've just met came, came from. from. Um, so there's really no other way to go. Gotcha. That's another way to do for her. Are we gonna take her? Are you guys gonna take her? Are we taking these troopers Does with us? Caleb or somebody have like medical, medical supplies, abilities? Yeah. Uh, they do not. Neither Caleb or Virgo yeah. does. Do I? Uh, you can try to use some of your training okay. on it. Yeah. Um, so yeah. this is gonna be medicine. Okay. Oh, medicine, yes. All right, two green. And then you have had training in the past. You're gonna get yeah. an additional blue dice to this. I've been mm -hmm. doing this a long time. Okay. And then it's gonna be three purple. Okay. This is so cool. Okay. And then you can add any of your dice into this. That take, you want to. take some. Take, yeah? Yeah, take an ability. Ability, yeah, right? Yeah, take a green one, go for it, man. Just one more? Uh, or is that enough? What do you think? We already like got that natural. Oh, yeah, you got another one back. Oh, so. please, wait, it's getting bluer. Yeah, okay. yeah. Take another boost. Okay. <laughs> All right. And you guys are locked in? Here we locked go. In. I'm locked in. Shake that, baby. I feel good about this one. Mm. All right. Two, two success, success two. to advantage. Yes. So you've seen um, these injuries before in yeah. your, your time in the Empire. My long time in the Empire. She's um, taken, she's clearly unconscious. She has the signs of what might look like some sort of concussion and you proceed to kind of um, move about. Her armor is destroyed, uh, mm -hmm. looks like from some sort of blast, and she has some lacerations to her armor. But for the most part, it's done its job to protect her from that kind of fragmentation uh, explosion. Um, so you do your best to stabilize her, and she seems to be in a better uh, situation than she was before, but she still, um, she starts to slowly wake up, but she mm -hmm. seems very groggy. Yeah. Can you tell me your name? <clears throat> Where am I? You're in a cave. Underneath Dantooine. Who? Do you remember what happened before you got down here? We were walking in the cave, and there was a fight. We lost. We lost Iko, and then there was an explosion, but then she looks up, she sees her, and she starts to try and focus. You were there. Yes, I saved you. For the empire, for the empire. <laughs> where's, she starts to get very alarmed, where's, where's Diego? <laughs> Who's Diego? Who's Diego? She starts frantically looking around, but she's still kind of what in a, do you mean the guy? Diego's that the other guy? You point off, and he seems to just continue to be rocking back and forth. He's like, what, what, what? Hey. And then she's gonna roll real quick. Oh, what is she rolling for? What? I get to use these, because they're cool. <laughs> you, get to, you get to use real dice. <laughs> <sighs> where's, where's the lieutenant? I remember we were in the cave and then there was an explosion. I don't, what happened? Well, I think the lieutenant's in a lot of itty bitty little pieces on the other side of that wall that caved in. He tried to kill you. I, I saved you and Diego. Do a deception? Right. Easy. Deception is cunning, and cunning is too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gonna be four purple. Four purple. Ooh. I will use one more ability. Mm -hmm. Bring that down to two, and that's it. Okay, you're locked in. Okay. I'm locked crazy. in. Uh, failure and disadvantage. Oh. Uh, two disadvantages. Yep. I don't like that thing. <laughs> 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 it's those dice, click and clack. No, that's, he could, he's an asshole, but he wouldn't, why would, no, I don't, I, I don't believe that. You hit your head in the cave. 
she starts to slowly get up. Easy, easy. Yeah. Easy. We need to keep moving. We can't stay here. Right. Yeah. What is your name? My name? She just pauses for a moment. Your designation. My designation is CT341. 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 I will carry. We should move. Should I carry her, Captain? Yes. You've mm. been living down in these caves. Where did you come from? I haven't been living down in these caves. I'm surviving. I'm surviving down in these caves. Yeah. Don't worry about where I'm from. Let us get it. Let's get my. Let's get these troopers out of here. All right. Well, you said the Empire sent you, right? Yes. Yes. Can yes. we go back to the place you came from? Wait a minute. What's your story? You're awfully quiet this whole time. She is I O. She will kill you. If you need to know my story, I'll let you know. Yeah. When I want you to know. If I want you to know. <laughs> Whose balls are small now? Yeah. Your human balls are smaller now. You don't know if I'm human or not. I can tell by your shape. <laughs> can you? In this darkness? In your scent, <laughs> yes. My scent? Yes. <laughs> All right, Erg. Easy. Dugorians He's smelling me, or please keep your nose to yourself. All humans <laughs> smell alike. What are we gonna do about this? What are we gonna uh, do about the? Uh, all we, right. The female trooper picks up her helmet because uh, it had been taken off, and as she puts it back on, as you're holding her, we need to continue with the mission. Yeah. We need to get you to the enclave. Yeah. You're the captain here. That's where we're going. Do you? In your time surviving down here, have you encountered or fallen upon an old Jedi enclave that's supposedly down here? Yes. It's back the way I came. I guess you can follow me. Lead the or way. Pick up the female. What are we gonna do? Are you gonna help him? Or do you want to leave him? All right. Diego? Or do you want to do something in a... No? If... Hey, Diego? She scares me. Yes. We gotta get a move on here. Your friend is fine. Herg's gonna carry her to safety. He's got PTSD. I've seen this before. He stands up. He doesn't say anything. Um, slowly goes to pick up his helmet, doesn't put it on, just holds it in both hands and walks behind to where Herg is at. I will put her on my back and hold her up with one arm and then her arms will be draped over like this, like, she, like a little kid. Oh, so she's like yeah. on top? So her arms yeah. and her head, so she can see up here. It's like can piggyback like, ride. Yeah, piggyback ride. Just don't throw this one. Ride. Okay, perfect. She's larger than a child, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> you threw one? What? Did you throw one? Where is the cave? <laughs> <laughs> Let us go. You it threw doesn't a matter. <laughs> no. No. What did she mean? Where's the threw Jedi enclave? That's what I'm really interested I in. I threw this. a child. You threw a child? For the Empire. Okay. If it's for the Empire, it's correct. Well. Right? Sure. There we go. All right, Org. Idiots. <laughs> a child, though. Who's the idiot here? All right. <laughs> Lead the who's way. Got, who's, who's got the, uh, all right, but I don't have the light. Who's got light? Here. Excellent. Thank you, Hurt. Jesus, how big is your head? All right. Normal size for Tagorian. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, we start moving. It says you. Slowly back the way I came. The way you came. Yeah. So it's very familiar to you because you've been in this area before trying to find an an escape yeah. route, but it seems to have been closed off. So okay. you can maneuver your way through, yeah. and uh, the cave gets bigger and larger as it starts opening up into a large cavernous area. Um, and there's a big ravine that separates this side of the cave to the other side. And there's another tunnel that continues off this way, which is where you were at before. Right. But you know that that's not the way that you no. need to go. Right. Is there a way across the ravine? Across the ravine 
is what looks like an old bridge ah. that doesn't necessarily look like it's in um, it's been here for a while. Yep. Right. And it doesn't look like it's necessarily in the most stable of. Of course not. Conditions. Mm. How much width? How much distance is there between the bridge and the ground? Uh, it is a long drop. Okay. I was going to use his nine foot tall, but I guess we can't. Um. Mm. I will go across first. No, Herg. I think that would be a bad idea. If I can make it across. I'm the heaviest one here. That's and true. Everyone can make it across. But and if, if you don't, you can't make it across. Then we lose our only chance to get across. Captain is best captain. Since not, a, I'll go across first, just to test the stability, and then I'll let you know where the spots are to not step. I reach my axe out and stop him before he keeps going. You better step lighter than a wonat's fur topaz. It's all Greek to me. I don't know what you're saying, but all right. Yeah. A walnut. Sure. Yeah. A what? A walnut. A w- they have furred toe pads. Ass. Ah. I'm from a small planet. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. I go across the the, the bridge. You're trying to. It's got about Shh. enough. No. Uh, this could be the shortest guest star ever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many? Space between it. Yes. For one person at a time. So you're going yep. once. You're going first. Uh, okay. You're going to use your coordination on this. Okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and it's okay. two purple. Okay. And would you like to use any of your dice? I feel like I should use any <laughs> dice. <laughs> I feel like Go for it. a boost and ability. A boost and an ability? Okay. And you guys two are boosts and an ability. <laughs> two boosts. You, you cleared the board. You're clearing the board. Don't you think yeah. I should use everything? Yeah. yeah I feel yourself. like I should. Totally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The rest of us will be fine. John. All right. All right. I'll move one back. No, 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 no. A dice, okay. a dice okay. plate is a dice something. You're good. All right. Not and fair. then I'm locked in. So okay. roll, go ahead and roll that. God. Did you <laughs> yeah. use them all? I hope you used them all. You did use them all. Good. Oh. All right. Yes. So, all right. Nice. Oh, with more success. Woo. Woo. Okay. Grace and agility, yes. you slowly start making your way across this bridge. And as you do so, you notice which of these panels seem to be a little bit loose in the other, marking them. Don't step we, here. Continue, Avoid this one. Continuing through, you get to the other side. All right. While he is over there, He's kind of outside mm-hmm. of communic. You can't hear necessarily uh, what's ah. on the side. So he's uh. now left you. The other two troopers are there. One still seems to kind of be in a comatose state, state, and the other one has put her helmet back on. So you don't know necessarily what state she's in. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. Why? Yes. Wait. I'm confused. Didn't? Aren't you Lieutenant Lesev? Why did he call you? Captain. Don't, don't worry about it. You hit your head. Do deception? <laughs> You're gonna do deception? Me? Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> uh, deception. Uh, how do I clear this? Okay. All right. What's it gonna be? Uh, it's gonna be three purple. Use an ability. Do we really have <laughs> that ability? Uh, it doesn't look like it on mine. Oh, yeah. Let me okay. refresh this. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I used them all. No, it's okay. No, that's okay. We told you to. We want to live. Yeah. We, yeah. Well, we wanted you to live. Yeah, <laughs> I'm locked You're in. You're the guest star. Okay. So I don't, yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's there. We it's do there. Know. It's, it's there. Okay. I'm going to take it. Hooray! Yeah. One advantage. So <clears throat> you just hear, hmm, understood, Lieutenant. I mean, Lieutenant. Oh. Very good. <clears throat> and he's out of earshot of yeah. us, yes? Yeah. Captain, who is this guy? Well, I don't know, but he's our best chance at surviving. He wasted here. no time in walking in here and giving everybody orders. Well, he's been living in this cave. He knows better than anyone else. And also, as far as I can tell, what choice have we got? I think he just works here. I don't think he actually lives here. <laughs> I think he just comes here every day for his work and then goes home to some place. His work doing what? I don't know, mining. What are you doing down here? 
Can you tap her? Yes. <clears throat> what are you doing down here? It's like you keep her on the Everything head. is for the Empire. Uh, okay. Right. We've been, I don't. Lieutenant, who goes next across <clears throat> the bridge? <clears throat> well. The comatose trooper just starts walking across the bridge. Oh, oh. no, no, no. Okay. Let's wait just a moment. Hold on. Diego. Diego. Let him come across. You feel you're gonna guide him? Yes. I, how far would it be if you fell? It's, uh, you can't actually see the bottom. Oh, super, so it's like pretty much certain death. Okay, hear me out. Maybe he should, he should go then. Uh, he should go? Yes. No, he's the he reason that content. we got in this mess in the first place. That's right. Let him go. No, uh, okay. So, what if <laughs> we use, do we have some sort of like rope? Kind yeah, of you all have your hair. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So what if one of us, like, what if we use Herg, for example, because you are very large and strong, if you kind of were his, like, mm. you know, like when you're climbing a Understood rock climbing. Attempt. Yeah. Get out a rope, someone. Right. Get out a rope. Captain, Captain. Throw me the rope here, I'll tie it. I'll tie it. Guide you back over the bridge. bridge. Okay. How far away are we from each other? It's probably about like 100 feet from either side. Oh. Okay. Throw the rope as far as you, tell that nine foot tall thing to throw the <laughs> rope as far as you can. I'll catch it and drag it here. over, over. So you're attending him the rope. Mm -hmm. Do it. I'll just use some of my athletics to pull this off. <laughs> <laughs> and as you throw the rope, uh -huh. you're gonna use, sure, athletics. <laughs> and you have uh, plus one to your brawn oh, because of the tier three from last time. Okay, uh, how do we clear? This is clear, okay. So that's, uh, hmm, that's one of these. One, three of these. And then we get an extra green one to brawn? Yep. Dang. Dang. Nice. It's a little bit of uh, a distance and you didn't really tie anything off to the other end, you just threw the rope. <laughs> so I'm but, holding on to the other side. <laughs> correct, correct, correct. So it's gonna be four, four purple. Oof. Oh my word. Purple and uh, take you're this. good? Yeah, I'm good too. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, <clears throat> oh so with an advantage. You throw this rope. You oh, swing I, it. I can hate this thing. I know. <laughs> uh, and it I sails. I already roll terribly, yeah. and this is making it worse. Through the darkness, and it's hard to kind of see where it's heading off to. Um, and it nothing comes to your side. Nope. But mm -mm. the rope seems to be firmly stuck to something. <sighs> something. Something that we can't see. And every time you pull, now you see the bridge start to oh. kind of shake a little bit. This is not good. Did you throw the rope, bro? What happened, happened? I tried. It, it got caught on something, but it may turn out to be an advantage. <laughs> we don't know <laughs> how. <laughs> Send the lightest one of you across to go check the rope. The trooper starts just moving towards Diego, the bridge again. No, Diego, stop, stop it! Uh, I don't want to force anybody to do anything, but I'll... Fine, I'll go. <laughs> <clears throat> so you're going to use your coordination as coordination. you Coordination? Woo! All right, uh, coordination, that is agility. Out. All right, I don't have anything in that. You're the worst. <laughs> Erg is like the a... worst. It gives away everything. <laughs> Everybody's name, where they're from, what they did. It's like the worst. All right, how do I you never... were not in earshot, you did not hear I'm never robbing a Funny. bank with you. <laughs> All right, that's... Okay. And it's gonna be two purple. Two purple, anything else? Uh, are you locked in? I'm locked I'm... in. Unfortunately, I'm locked in, yes. <laughs> Good? All right. Yep. And I got one success with one disadvantage. Oh. So you start making your way 
across this bridge, mm -hmm. taking it one step at a time, indicating where these certain kind of trouble spots are. Mm -hmm. Who's uh, right about this one? It's right about that one. And as you move through, it seems to be you step on one that was flagged to you, but you momentarily misjudge where it was at, and your foot breaks through the panel. Mm -hmm. Watch out! Oh. And the bridge starts to sway, okay. and you hear it start creaking as if. I gotta go across this fucking bridge. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> you continue the rest of the way, and okay. you make it to the other end. But the bridge starts to make this kind of moaning, creaking sound, oh. like it's oh, no. straining under its own self. <laughs> Did you not see where I marked things? It's dark in here. <sighs> what about the rope? What about the rope? Uh, along the way, mm -hmm. you didn't see where it was at. Wow. It's okay. just in the mist somewhere over there. <laughs> There's mist in this cave too? How long is this bridge? It's I mean, about 100 wide. feet. How wide is it? Oh, the width is about the size of one person can walk across. So the, the rope didn't catch on anything in the bridge if she didn't see it? Correct. Ooh. Uh. Is there, they, do they, no, who, now, does, does Herg have his own rope? Like whose rope do they Everybody throw? has technically rope. Have so should here. we try it again? We can try it again. Yep. Should we try the rope again? Lieutenant, should I release this? <clears throat> uh, no, hang on, because I have another plan for mm. that if things don't work out. Who will go next? We have... The trooper, as you say, who goes CG next, he starts to walk. No! Diego. <laughs> you, Diego! Diego! I can do it. That's the most and he, he said in an He hour. puts the helmet on. Let him try! try. No, he... Uh. He seems... Like he's gonna do it unless you persuade him otherwise. Wait. I wanna figure out what happened to this rope, where the other end of it went and how we can use whatever it got stuck on to our advantage. Is the rope like running alongside the bridge in a way that you could like hold onto it? Onto the rope? Yeah. It seems like it is, if you, when you pull, it is extremely uh, firm, like it's, it's caught onto something. Right. So if you... Taut. Taut, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and it seems to be, it's hard to make out because it's going yeah, out into of. this thing, and into this kind of the darkness that's kind of far in front of you. But s just slightly dipping down from Slightly. where the bridge is. But so it's somebody could walk across the bridge with their hand on the rope to a certain point and then they'd lose it because mm -hmm. it like separates from the bridge a little bit. Okay, but my plan is to use the, to like try to zip line across on the rope. The rope that's, oh, I'm on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> captain is best captain. I don't know what, I'm. The, the, listen, my, my coordination is terrible. There's <coughs> no way I'm gonna make it across. But you're smart. <laughs> Who goes next, Captain uh, Lieutenant? <clears throat> we don't have a lot of time, hurry up! No. <sighs> Myself, yourself, Virgo, KMF, mm -hmm. that is who we have left, and CT-341 on my back. <laughs> and she goes, I'll, I'll try the rope. All right. <sighs> there you go. And you place her down, <clears throat> and she seems to kind of wobble a little bit, and as she moves towards the rope, She's going by herself going across by herself. the bridge. Uh, uh, she's using the rope yeah. <laughs> as a zip line. Yep. No. You're letting her cross alone? No, 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 wait. Use, just feel the rope. Don't zip line it. Just walk across <laughs> the bridge. The bridge is safe. I don't know that the bridge is really all that safe. Okay. If, the, if it's not safe, then grab onto whatever the rope is on. Okay. Okay, CT? <clears throat> she just nods. And you see uh, she walks across the bridge. And for you, yeah. you're seeing her kind of transponder pop on because you have your heads up yep. display. And so you're seeing this number that's moving closer and closer and it just stops halfway across the bridge and looks down. And you hear in your comms, mm -hmm. yeah. private channel, two things. The rope seems to be caught on some sort of structure or plant that's halfway across the, the ravine. Also, I don't think these people are for the Empire. Uh -huh. And she clicks off and continues to walk. And she emerges across the bridge next to you. 
And now, at this point, you mm -hmm. also have your distance between right. them on the other side and your internal comms. Right. Io is there uh, with you, but... We heard those comms though, didn't we? Because we could, we could. Mm -mm. They hear changed them from their. They changed it. Yeah, they, they changed. caught you. So I pull. I pull CT aside. As if I'm checking on her to make sure she's all right. Okay. Yeah. And then I have a conversation with her. Yep. Away from her. Yep. Okay. I'm just gonna check. To make. Sure. So. I ask her. How can you tell? Are you sure they're not with the Empire? What makes you say that? I know for a fact that the captain the rank doesn't seem to add up. It seems to fluctuate. It doesn't make sense. They said that they introduced her as a captain to you, yes? Yes. She introduced herself to us as a lieutenant. At least that's the information I had. Second, I still don't remember everything all I remember is the nine foot tall creature and an explosion, and now we're here. And I don't know what happened, but I get the feeling that something went wrong. I say, we need to get them to where we need to get them, Yeah. but be alert. <clears throat> okay. What are we gonna do about Diego? I, when you hear like a little bit of, kind of her voice cracks a little bit in the mic, I, we need to get him out of this. You lie down and rest. I'm gonna help them get the rest of them across the bridge. Uh, I wanna have her have a conversation with uh, Captain mm -hmm. on this side of the ravine. Okay. I'm holding onto the rope. Captain, we should kill all these troopers. We should kill all of them, all of them throw them in the ravine. Uh, that... They are suspicious of us. The trooper that's... Diego. Diego. Right next to Diego's kinda yeah. still oh, there. Diego. Oh, no, Gosh. Diego's still with us. You're the you kept, worst. You kept You're telling him. <laughs> And he just turns around, and you can't see what his expression is because his okay, helmet's back great. on. Great. But he just stares. Oh, Doesn't God. say anything, just stares oh, at you. God. Doesn't make any sort of action, but just stares at you. That would be a great plan, Herg, except all the ones that we want to kill are already on the other side of the ravine. Diego here. I meant when we go over there. Right, right. They do not trust us. And I thought Diego. CT557. CT557. You. That was that what they gave me, and I threw it all away. Th threw, oh, when, threw it all away when you decided to join the Rebel Alliance? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You but said that you were- They destroyed all the, how, I don't. He is with us, Captain, he is with us. They did destroy Alderaan. I understand your decision. Are you supposed to help us find this Jedi Enclave? Were you in- Use your charm. Okay. <laughs> I am not CT taking those dice because I might be- 557? Uh, 557. CT557. Five, five, seven. CT557. Five, five, seven. Okay. Gonna be three purple. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna die on the bridge! <laughs> 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 I'm locked in. Uh, I'm gonna add uh, <laughs> add another difficulty to that. Another purple, okay. All oh right, my gosh. locked in, roll it. One success, three advantage. Woo! Diego. When I found the news about Alderaan, I just, everything didn't make sense anymore. I figured I had to do something. And when I transferred to Dantooine, it was Yanuzi that approached me and said that I needed to help. And I started giving her information and that's when she said that you would be coming, but I, I didn't, I didn't want it to end like that. I feel. And like, what with the lieutenant 
blowing up? No. He starts to shake his head and turn, turns around and starts to walk towards the bridge. I'm gonna go with him, but Herg's really heavy, so you wait. I think that it might. Understood, Captain. You know, I'm gonna go across the bridge with him. Okay. I wanna try to like help him. I don't want him to die. I mean, I might die, but. <laughs> um, okay, so you're gonna you're gonna both move across the. You're going with him across mm-hmm. the bridge. Okay, so you're gonna do your uh, coordination. Okay. You're going together? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stay like just a couple like steps behind. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm spotting him. Yeah. Oh, God. Careful, Lieutenant. <laughs> I'm gonna take both the ability yeah. and the boots. So it's gonna be it's gonna be three purple. Are we all cleaned out then? We're zero zero zero? Yeah. Oh yeah, take that proficiency. And then I uh, you're gonna get a natural setback because you're both going at the same time. Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> and you're locked in? Yeah, that's all I got. I'm gonna add a difficulty to this. Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay. I will catch the bridge if you bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I have much brawn. <laughs> we do have one. Four success, Woo! three disadvantage. Ooh. So in front of you, nice. Um, not really paying attention to anything that he's stepping <sighs> on, but the trooper, uh, CT557 mm-hmm. Diego, yeah. just blindly walks across and just out of either sheer luck or focus, makes it all the way without any sort of incident. And as you're seeing, again, he's yep. turned his helmet on, so you're seeing this and a transporter is coming closer and closer to you. Um, Lieutenant, as you move across the bridge, uh, you're trying to focus both on your steps and also the trooper in front of you. And as you're kind of making sure, very focused on him getting across, um, you also make a slight misstep on the bridge and it it starts to sag a little bit and Uh. weighing (laughs) back and forth. Um, But you make it across. Uh. But it seems like <laughs> this bridge is on the on absolute the edge. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, um, oh, with God. that, uh, oh, Caleb God. goes up to Herg. Herg, I think it's wise if you go with the captain next. Mm. That's not what captain said. I the think. Captain said for you and Virgo to go, and then I would go last. I'm the heaviest. I think you should go next. Who's saying this? There's Get, two other two people. Others. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. We'll bring up the rear. There's three more people to get across this damn bridge? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> Lieutenant. <clears throat> uh, yes. I'm gonna go across the bridge now. Before? Caleb, yes. Captain, Virgo, yes. Uh, Lieutenant, I think it's wise if her goes with you next. With that many troopers over there, I think it's better to have him with you sooner than later. Understood. Am I privy to this? Yeah, he, okay. that one, that was a comms, that was for Got everybody. It. Except for you, sorry. Right, right. Okay. But I want to talk to Diego. Yeah. Don't yeah. you think? Well, he he's he's there with you, so you could definitely talk. Yeah, so yeah. whenever this is, hmm? no, well, talk. or should I talk to him now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I'm just gonna oh. make my way across the bridge. <laughs> what does yes. this mean? What does this mean? He, he has extra dice to use against so us. Oh, shit! In, uh, so you can get it queued up if you want. It's gonna be uh, three purple for you. Okay. Um, and then one natural setback because of your weight and size. You should have a salad. What am I? <laughs> You're using your coordination on this. Thank you. Uh, so I can talk to him while he's walking wait, across. I can talk to. Wait, wait, wait. What? Did you put a challenge there? Yeah. No. What? no. Okay. There you go. Now do it. What's happening? Oh, I did. I put a challenge. That was me. Setback. I got it. So three purples. Okay. Uh, so he's there. Uh, he seems to be. Yeah. Does he have his helmet on? His helmet is back on. So can I talk to him with comps? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna use an ability. CT, yeah. CT557. Want to take a boost too? CT341 seems to think that we shouldn't trust these people that they're not with the Empire. You seem a little groggy, you seem a little bit out of it. What can you tell me? <sighs> okay, you're gonna use your leadership on this. Okay. After that, so, let's, so we roll that. Ooh, and woo. three success and three disadvantage. 
Yes. So oh, as you're having this conversation, uh, you're about to talk to yeah. this trooper, you see this cat creature that moves uh, across the bridge. <laughs> and like a gargantua. If you fall, you'll your feet. Yeah, and it's starting, no. as you reach the halfway point, the bridge starts to just. I still have that rope. <laughs> I still have it. You do, but you've reached the point where it's now going down to something. Down. Mm. So the bridge starts to shake under the, uh, the strain and the weight. So you just continue to move your way across. And as you get to about 10 feet in front of uh, where everyone's at, just you hear <laughs> snaps of wire. I jump. And as you <sighs> jump to the landing, just <laughs> and the rest of this bridge just falls down into this darkness. Oh. And As it, sound shatters through uh, the cave, you hear the distinct sound of oh, no. off somewhere else, but it seems to have awoken some sort of creatures. And with that, Caleb's, uh, Lieutenant, I think it's best that we try and find some other way to get up uh, to regroup with you. We're gonna take this side passage and see where it goes. I don't think it's wise for us to stay here. I agree. Carry on. Click. And you can't really see it, but you see like the one light from Caleb's uh, headlamp kind of oh go my. off. Because Virgo through Around. Yeah, she that's right, she threw, she threw it. it. <laughs> so you're all there, and you were trying to talk to him. Yeah. So you're gonna use your leadership, yeah. right? I got the two. Um, it's gonna be uh, three purple. <laughs> Right. And would you like to use any of your dice? No, I, th I feel like I used a lot <laughs> already. We can get ahead. a solo coast. We're over the bridge. It's fine. All right? Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to add a purple to that. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. And then shake that. All right. So <clears throat> you asked him. Uh, if, you know, the... What he can tell me. What he can tell you. Um, I trust them. But something happened. There was an accident. It seemed like uh, the commander's ordinance went off um, <clears throat> on its own, accidentally. But I saw it. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what I saw, but I trust them, uh, and and I feel like we can continue with the mission. All right. Stay close. I don't want you running off and trying to walk across things again. He steps to the. He kind of stands at attention a little bit, and as he walks off to the side, um, kind of yeah. separating from the group from you. Yeah. You notice that there's a look between. He kind of glances over at uh, CT341. Yeah. And very just unmoving stare returns his, his gaze, and he looks back down to the ground and kind of goes off to the other side. Damn, that's quizzical. All right. That's so peculiar. you're all there now. Okay. I don't know them. You don't know any of them? No, I no. don't know them. It's damn peculiar. All right. But the, uh, the female trooper. Um, kind of walks up and mm -hmm. speaks to you okay. in an open mic, so it's kind of just coming out of the comms of the front of the, okay. the trooper helmet. Um, excuse me, sir, I don't think I got your name or your um, mission that was down here. It says that you're TO316. TO316. We were down here exploring, we were down here digging out the caves when the cave been happened. Every one of my people got killed. Or I got separated from them and I assume they're dead. I've been down here for a while trying to stay alive, trying to figure my way back out. When I saw they were in trouble, it's the first contact with any kind of beings I've had in such a long time. I thought they might know a way out of here. Well, the way out that we knew <laughs> it is impossible to go that way now. 
Yes. What happened? There was a cave-in and an explosion. Floor to ceiling. Is this where you threw the baby? No. no. Oh. It wasn't a baby. It was a small. You said child. baby. There was. I said child. Not child. Baby. Oh. All right. It doesn't matter. All right. Well, this is the way I came. Well, this is the. Well, this is the new. What, what do we see in front of us now? What do we see? Like, we should, does anybody need? Re do we? Should, I know. I'd like it. I know we need rest, but we need to keep moving. Yeah. I don't want to tell your people what to do, Captain. But we no, need to keep I moving. agree. I don't want to be down here any longer than we need to. And even though we don't know a way out, we're not going to find one by sitting around here. Okay. The sergeant, so CT uh, three four Three. one, mm -hmm. starts to just kind of take point, kind of do, and she is leading, walking away from the ravine uh, into farther forward. It's uh, a large kind of uh, interior cliff face, and it's leading its way around the edge of this open cavern, but heading back into more cave networks. So mm -hmm. she's just taking point and walking. Is that the way? to the Jedi Enclave, you said you knew where it was. Yeah, yeah. Let's follow her. All right. Do I still have a tracking device on me? You do. And it's still active? Uh, I think you turned it off. Okay. But you could turn it back on. Okay, will it make any noise? Uh, a little bit, okay. yes. Okay, then I will keep it concealed okay. for now. Okay, Herg, do you want your life back? No. I can see better in the dark than most of you can. Okay. But myself. I kind of want him to carry Diego. Because Diego's, yeah, because Diego's kind of out of it. I don't trust him to be. Am I allowed to speak my inner thoughts yeah, or anything like sure, that? Yeah, sure. Of course. Okay, here's my inner, I don't trust Diego at all. Okay. And I don't mean. And you want her to, to carry him? Yeah. Okay. You can ask him. Her? I can ask her, or I can ask Diego. Oh, Herg, or I'm sorry, the female trooper. I'm Not the female trooper. Herg. Right. Yeah. I want Herg to carry Diego. I don't mind that the female trooper leads us a little bit. I want if to he see asked you, knows. would you say yes? No. Can I reveal my innermost thoughts? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I check in with Captain over here. I check in with the Lieutenant. You can ask him. Okay. You can ask him. Herg. What? Diego tried to run across that bridge two or three times. Yes. He's not thinking straight. He's stupid. He is, yes. Well, at this point, you, you obviously something's happened. He won't, he's not able to talk about it. He's suffering PTSD. Yeah. I've seen it, like I've said, many times. Will you carry him on your back like you were carrying CT-241? You will have to ask him. You'll do it if he says yes? If those are my orders from the lieutenant, then So yes. who am I asking? The yes. lieutenant or Diego? Well... I mean, check in with Diego yeah. first, because if he prefers okay. to walk on his own, he is a grown man. <laughs> but then check, ask the lieutenant, and I, I will do it, yes. Okay. It's rude to say that. Diego's right here. <laughs> I know he is. I want him to know what I'm thinking. Are you asking him, or are you ordering him? I'm ordering him. Um, Diego, I want you to ride on Herg's back. I don't trust you in the state they're in right now. You're delirious. I don't think you need more rest. I don't think you need to be exhausted by walking. And do I want to know what happened. Do your leadership. Okay. Okay. It's going to be two purple. And you're going to get a natural boost. Okay. Um, and then you can use any more of your dice. Uh, I feel like we're okay. Yeah? Right. I'm going to add a purple to this. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, All right. Shake, shake it up. Shake it up. Wait, is that the right thing? Okay. Yeah. No results. No results. Oh. <clears throat> yep. He, uh, that's, it's just always no result with Diego. It's just always. <laughs> <laughs> Diego, come Takes on. a minute and, and he, sir, I think I would like to walk. I can do this. <clears throat> For the glory of the empire, I can do this. One request then, CT557, since you, have endured quite a lot today. Might I ask that you remain close to the Tagorian in the event that we should find ourselves under attack? He has very quick reflexes and no offense, but I don't think that your 
necessarily firing on at maximum capacity right now. He looks at you, sir. I think the captain's right. If, with your permission, Captain, I'd like Horg to take up the rear with CT-557 in front of him. Permission you, granted. You in the middle? What's your, I didn't catch your name again. I told you. If I want you to know, I'll let you know. All right, we'll take the angry one <laughs> and put her up with 341. I'll walk ahead of you, Captain, if that's all right. That right. way our firepower is distributed across, all, across the entire line. So as you kind of move together in this cave network in a, in a line that's staggered a little bit and moving forward, um, you hear the sounds of the creatures um, kind of dissipate off as if they were focused on what happened with the crashing of our friends, the bridge, mm -hmm. and potentially where your friends went. Um, and you move through farther and farther in this network, and everything starts to slowly seem a little bit you know, kind of uh, like you've seen it before. Every rock starts to look like every other rock, and you don't know. Time starts mm -hmm. to um, kind of lose its sense of, of value as you move farther and farther into this network. Um, and finally, you hear on your comms, sir, I think we've reached the location. Private channel? Just you. Yeah. <coughs> From CT341? 341. Okay. Your orders. We've reached the location, that's what she said. She's on, she's at point, so she's got there. She's up, okay. arrived first. Find a spot for us to all, that works for all of us to kind of stop for a moment, sit down and rest for a second. Solid copy, click off. I, I think you were next, so as you kind of emerge out of this cave network, you see this large, structure in front of you. Mm -hmm. Seems like it's been rebuilt in a strange area within this cave as if like the, doesn't seem like it fits um, uh, the area that you're in, but everything else has been kind of beaten so down. So man-made, it's, it's not something completely that completely man-made. Okay. Um, and they've made room for this structure within this cave network, but it's just uh, as water drips down and kind of there's a, a moldiness in the air. You, you look at the structure and you see these steps that lead up mm -hmm. into this larger building and uh, the female trooper is already at the top of the stairs kind of looking around mm -hmm. and waves for you to join her up there. Just me? Well, you're next in the line, mm -hmm. so. Captain? Yes? Do you see what's ahead of us? A bunch of stairs? And. There's Can is he privy to what I'm saying on comms? You have separate comms. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So he can't. But I'm hear. right behind you. Oh, yeah. Everyone slowly okay. now. At this point, you've stopped, okay. and as you wait, more people are okay. approaching. How so. many? Yeah. How many feet is there? Distance? I like, think twenty feet. About twenty feet. Okay. Okay. So, do you see the trooper waving at us? Should mm -hmm. we follow? I don't immediately see any other way to go. This structure looks man-made. We know we were looking for an old Jedi enclave. Mm -hmm. Chances are it's something that they built. This looks as likely as anything. Okay, I'll follow, but I take out my blaster just in case. Okay. So you both start moving, and at yeah. this point you've now reached them, and so you're seeing the same thing, this yeah. network. It's unfamiliar to you as you haven't seen this yet, but you no. see this structure and yeah. you're kind of taken aback by the fact that the huge building has definitely been on your briefings of something that you need to be aware of right. and we're constantly looking for, but this is the first time you've seen it. And then as you continue to kind of, the-, the We all start walking up the stairs, right? You're, I'm assuming okay. everyone's kind of moving. Yeah. Yep. You've, reach there and everyone <laughs> climbs up these stairs and you're now at this kind of open area. Okay. And this building leading into you seems to be, uh, there's what used to be doors there have been kind of broken down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And darkness is all you see inside. What has happened here? Something not good from the looks of it. Seems old. 
Looks like it was inhabited and in, uh, maybe something to do with the caves down here. Maybe they ran away. Maybe those bugs had something to do with it. Maybe. Doesn't hasn't looked lived in in quite some time. So real quick, we finished the first hour. Ah. Oh shoot! And we ended in tier uh, one. Of course we. Dark did. side. Oh, man. Good for John, I guess. <laughs> what? What? Really? Huh. Wow. Okay, guys. Okay. Uh, that's some exciting news. Oh, what? Ooh. We are one subscriber away from hitting our next sub goal. Yeah. yeah. Just one. Just one. Which means when we hit it, we're giving yes. away this Imperial Darth Trooper. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Death Trooper. Death Trooper. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Sick. That's a zombie. Very nice. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Five. What? Ground Zeroes oh. plus the Phantom Dang. Pain. Wow, a lot of content. That's on thing. Xbox One now? Yeah. Yeah, and we've got this on PS4 cool. too. You can choose whether or not you want it PS4 or Xbox One. Same with PES 2017 Soccer, Xbox One yeah. PS4, up to you. Nice. And Burke's yes, Gambit people. the Card Game. Uh, All one player, giveaway uh, pack, Lucian. one more subscriber, Dang. and we're giving that away Pro Pro to a lucky individual in the Subscribe. audience. And subscribers have a higher chance of winning. That's cool. Um, oh. So you have a higher chance of winning, and... Um, and subscribers drastically affect the uh, they, do. Yeah, they, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, you could you subscribe get to say, yeah. right now and, and say I, hashtag dark. Nope. No, mm. or you know, or I, the I other one. This game around. That's Speaking good of hashtag dark, first uh, off, everyone's extra brawn bonus is gone. Uh, Second of all, look, uh, some of my favorite species from uh, Star Wars are the Keldor, and you know, they sometimes a family of them likes to. Put all sink all their credits into a no. family venture and you know try their hand at uh, shipping. Fortunately, smugglers are a thing and pirates are a thing and uh, this entire family's goods have been taken. And unfortunately, the mother and father were killed in the attack. Oh, no. So this young Keldor, um, seeing no other option, has now started down a dark path. No. Towards. Vengeance, and realizing that to really make it in the galaxy, you need to become stronger and feared. So this, what's gonna happen from this poor little orphan? Well, let's find out with this story. But Dang. Shh, she's got dark. Uh, support your local businesses, yes. people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna throw that kid. One You're gonna throw. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna reset this. Uh, I'm gonna start. So you guys' now thing is you now have. Yes. And we're gonna keep this in effect. Uh, uh, minus one, so this is dark side, okay. to all of your rolls for advantage. So you're gonna have basically adding, base, we'll just do it like this. You're minus adding, one advantage. You're adding one disadvantage. One disadvantage. One disadvantage, okay. Um, and then I'm gonna. Oh, yeah! 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 Uh, let me start that up so we can have it make sure it affects something. Uh, let's make sure that that sub hits that, unless it's light sub, then it doesn't count. It's totally no. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm uh, kidding. It's camaraderie. It's so a, it's, it's a bit. It's all a bit, guys. It's all a bit. It's fun. So what happens here? So now we're starting we in a new environment. You're no, no, no. You're in the same thing. Right where we left off. Okay. Paused it. You're there. You're seeing this thing. It looks like the building, the doors. It's very old. Mm -hmm. Very old. Um, and you're all collected at the top of these stairs before you see this building. I want to go in first. Okay, so just moving in. Okay. Go ahead and roll and do your uh, perception on this. Unless, did you want to go in? Yeah. Something's you in there. I don't it. want to be the first to encounter it. Mm. What was Io's code name? I've dated species like you. <laughs> Where did we go? Do we give I don't Io? No, I think he, he just straight up said Io. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't no, know. But no, no, no. Weeks ago, what was Io's code name? I'll look. Oh, yeah, I oh think you're like. I don't remember. Okay. I, remember my my I don't think we gave Io a code name. <laughs> All right. Was yours Merg? Did you write yeah, yeah, yours was Merg. Merg. Yep. Merg. Those are my notes. These are my notes. Oh. I don't think I have a code name. Yeah, I don't think so. I think you just don't tell anyone you're yeah, name. Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah. So wait a minute. They, she joined their whatever this merry band of misfits is. And they don't know who she is at oh, all. No, we don't know who she is. They know. We're yeah. all undercover in this mine, yeah. pretending right. to be Imperial whatever's. Well, don't. 
Oh, no, I just skipped <laughs> it. Yeah. You're the, you're the, you're the, you're the <laughs> worst. You're the worst. You're the worst. That was not the worst. I'm catching up, John. Again. I mean, I'm not telling you a damn thing about my life ever again. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was catching him up on the episode he wasn't on. Catching him up on the episode he wasn't on. Catching him up on Twitter. Yeah. All right. He's yeah, but a I don't guest star. To... He's going to die at the end of this episode. It doesn't what? matter. I better Come not on. die. All right. I made a cross on Rickety Bridge, damn it. All right, I'm going to go in first. Okay, so your first thing I, you're new is you're going to do a perception check. CT341, I, I want to take point on this. I'm going to go in. I've got Herg's light, and I got my uh, uh, blaster. Oh, so what? Say that again. Uh, um, so you're you prepare yourself okay. and you move in. So you're instantly. I have two. You have two. It's only going to be two purple. Okay. Oh, two purple. Okay. Um, and you're going to get uh, a natural boost, so a blue. Okay. From your gear. So on top of the light that you have, you also have um, your. This is a cave trooper. Your yeah. equipment that's built into your visor. Yes. Um, so yes. that's that. Would you like to add any of your dice to that, Captain? Probably. One boost. If this is a perception check, it's yeah. probably worth it. One boost. Okay. Three boosts. And three boosts. We use all three. Yeah, I go for it. I can't tell. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I really cannot tell with him. So you're gonna use all three. Perfect. Okay. I will add uh, two red dice to that. No! Red. Red. Wow. Yeah, that was smart. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. Yeah, it's happening. It takes a while, but it gets through. All right. Okay. All right. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Interesting. Good. Bad. Great. So here's the thing. It's a little bit of every. It's, it's this a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of everything. But more okay. good than bad. And also, but like uh, the worst kind of bad. Yeah. Oh no. So oh, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I didn't see that. You succeeded uh, with advantage. <laughs> right. Okay. But despair. So this is the equivalent of rolling like a, a one. Okay. In, yeah. a, in a regular thing. So positive is you come in. Okay. You scan this. It looks like it's a strange thing. It's like an open courtyard built within this this building. Everything's in dilapidated. The towers are kind of p pillars are knocked down. Um, it's like a strange um, vegetation that's growing everything. And as you're scanning it and kind of logging all of it, your light just stops. And as it passes over one thing, you just see these bright <laughs> red ginormous eyes that Shit. stare back at you. And this creature, you see it, yeah. and you have a chance to kind of react, but this creature stands up. <laughs> and it towers in the courtyard, larger than any of the other creatures you encountered oh, yeah. on Shit. your previous kind of excursions okay. into the cave. Okay. And it locks eyes with you and slowly starts to kind of crawl oh, out of this damn. space. Guys, okay. we need boost. We're about to be dinner right now. <laughs> okay. So you see it, so you're right. able to, to understand. All right. <clears throat> can I call them in here with their weapons? <laughs> you can, yes. <laughs> That's right? Yeah. So I just say, like, just everybody get in. Just say it. Okay, everybody get in here. <laughs> how, how tall is this thing, by the way? Uh, it looks like it's uh, standing probably about the size of, like, an elephant okay. size. Mm, right. uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So it's the Great. biggest one. It's an elephant. That we've encountered Do, so and we far. don't know what these creatures are called or anything, right? Um, f nobody seems to have. Uh, actually, okay. go ahead. Someone do a lore. What is that? Check. Ooh. What's a lore that's check? A um, what would that be under? That's on the right side. It actually, is. you know what? No, because you have had your intel briefings yeah. on yes. these things. Yeah. Um, and they're constantly telling you as you go through. So you know what this is. What is it? Uh, they're called. Oh, I got the wrong one here. Uh, Ligrex, and they're like these large insectoid creatures that have like these scythe like hands. Oh. And you know from your briefings yes. that these creatures, the larger ones, yeah. are more dangerous. Yes. Um, and you haven't seen it firsthand. You know this information. Yeah. They breathe fire. Okay. Ligrex or Ligrex? Ligrex. Ligrex, okay. Was that the thing in Attack of the Clones? Uh, no. Okay. That was a uh, Ackley, I think. Okay. Okay. Ligrex, breathe fire. It's as tall as an elephant. Yeah. All right. This particular one. Yeah. No. Okay. 
Everybody get in here. There's, like, there's, there's a massive Ligrick in front of me. A what? It's, a, it's a, that, those creatures, the one that I shot and killed. Get in here, bring your weapons. Draw your weapons and get in here, and we're gonna take this thing out. Uh, okay. Now be careful, it brings fire. It what? It brings fire, fire, so be careful. When were you gonna tell us this? Like, well, now's a good time, I think, since we encountered one. All right. Now go around and go, everybody, come, come, come and split around me and start to shoot this thing from all sides. Okay. Wait, no, I don't know where its weakness, I don't know where its weakness is, do I? Where I can kill it? Okay. CT341. Yes, sir. Oh, to, to, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, to, to my right. CT557, all the way to my left. Captain, right here. Horg? Horg? Herg? Whatever your damn name is. Do you see a weapon at all? He has the axe, right? He's mm -hmm. got a bunch of weapons. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Herg, I want you to move your way around and. You don't tell me what to okay, do. Okay, do what you want to do. <laughs> 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 all right. What so, what? so as everyone jumps into action, you guys, everyone rushes in. Mm -hmm. Nobody doesn't. Um, go in? No, I, I go in. No, I so go. you enter this room and it's a, a large um, kind of courtyard that's strange because it's inside this underground building. But as you see the first time, this large creature that's slowly emerging itself out of this rubble as bits of oh, stone geez. and stuff kind of come out of it and you see the full uh, kind of scope and size of this creature. Right. Every one of you three is gonna do a cool check cool. real quick. Cool. Uh, right. TO three one six. You're already in there, and you yep. have some level of training. So what, do, what, what weapons do I have on me besides the blaster? You have your blaster, and you have the handful of other items. Okay. You have uh, a frag grenade, and then an I think I'm gonna anti personal grenade. Cool's presence, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah I right. think I'm gonna use a frag grenade. Against. You're gonna do. You're gonna do three. Three. Okay. <laughs> and are you, would you like using your dice? You know what, I am good for now. Okay, yep. uh, I am also good okay. right now. Right. You're locked in. Okay, uh, one success, three disadvantage. Oof. Oh, it could be worse. Okay. It could be, it could be better, it could but, be better, but it could be worse. worse. <laughs> okay, mm. I am up next. Oh, so you're gonna give the results after they, okay. Yeah. I will go ahead and do his presence, so I have this. And uh, I'm locked in. I'm not using any. Go for it. That's oh, it's it? too purple. Okay, cool. That's it? Yes. And I got one disadvantage. <laughs> Fuck this thing. <laughs> I hate that. I know, me too. And then I and I'm, Okay, and, and then. Okay. Herg is circling around the back. Well, and it's, you go to start circle around gotcha. the back. Okay. At least that's what. Two purple? Uh, yeah, I think I did two. Two? two. Okay. I think I'm I did three, but two. We'll I'm locked two. in. Okay, go for it. I think that's what we're fighting right now. One advantage. Oh, yeah. oh there it is. <laughs> oh, miss it. Okay, crisis averted. There we go. We're good. Okay. Luke could do it. Oh. Yeah. So, <clears throat> as you all enter this room, and you see this creature and kind of the size of it for the first time, um, Io, you focus on it. You've never seen anything like it before, mm -hmm. but you remain calm under this pressure. But as you kind of stare this thing down, the creature slowly turns and like locks eyes with you oh, shit. as you're there. Um, <coughs> Herg, you're immediately going to, to action of like wanting to turn. Um, normally, you're confident being the tallest creature in normal of these situations, but as this creature kind of extends its body out and you see the full size, you're momentarily kind of awestruck and unsure of kind of the fact that you have a melee based weapon and you're fighting a creature of this level. So you've stopped your action moving, <laughs> trying to flank around. And then, um, oh, and it's actually minus one advantage, so. Oh, it's so it's nothing. And as you walk in, uh, to see this, you've, the name doesn't kind of recall anything in particular, mm -hmm. but when you see it and you see the size of this creature, you remember back to some of these tales that you were told mm -hmm. around like your childhood right. of fighting these other sort of monsters and how it's like a big kind of rite of passage for Mandalorians. Right. Mm -hmm. You've heard these tales, and as you see this though, you've also remember tales of some of your ancestors that fought creatures like this and met their demise. 
And so you kind of process this information <laughs> of whether or not you're going to be, which of your which family of members, members, members you will be joining. I'm be. Okay. Um, so you're kind of <laughs> locked internally with this. So, uh, Tio, yeah. you just are there and you have your troopers and you've ordered them to go. Yeah. Um, real quick, uh, it's, I'm gonna do, everyone's gonna roll. Uh, cool. And you guys are gonna do vigilance on this. Vigilance. Yep. And then you're cool. So I actually have a bunch, and it's not. This is basically initiative order. So I have some dice if you really just want to just kind of yeah. throw these out real quick. But heard you want to come here real quick. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Just in case. Um. So two, that's two. Two success, one advantage. This is just initiative order. Is yeah. Initiative. Vigilance. Yeah. Okay. What is, what is cool. cool? And you're running cool. Uh, cool. Is I got two so advantage, okay. but no success, so it's so a failure. So what do I do? Two greens and then just roll? Yeah, just roll. Okay. Two, two greens and just okay, roll. Okay, I've got yeah. two rank in, in one cool. Advantage. Yep, one yeah. advantage. Okay. I got one, two, three success. Nice. Nice. <coughs> did you do yours already? I did. Okay. Physically, because I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna do the reverse of this. Okay. Yeah, so the two other buddies. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, actually. Yeah. 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 I wanted to. Except for that thing there. Yeah. I know, <laughs> it doesn't like as much. Yeah. Should I just buy? If I, I could just buy one book for uh, Edge of the Empire. Or do I, would I need another thing? Uh, so there's like a core rule book yeah. that you can Which grab is and Age it has. Age of Rebellion? Well, so there's there's side note. I'm already confused. <laughs> I'll, wait, I'll wait until the next uh, uh, pause. Remind uh, okay. me then. Okay, so okay, okay, eating, okay. Uh, as, as much as I get that you're trying to eat up your, your dark cool. side time. <laughs> no! Yeah. Um, Not at all. Just for the people watching at home. <laughs> <laughs> People watching at home, there's three sets. There's Edge of the Empire, which is kind of more uh, smuggler-based centric. Uh, There's Age of Rebellion, which is more military centric, so you're playing as like rebels and empire and kind of focused on that. And then there's Force and Destiny, Destiny, which is an interesting setting because it's using force powers and sensitivity during the time of the empire is kind of like when it's set. So it's Mm. the fact that it's like not so Jedi's, but people who are force tuned. (laughs) And then there's a bunch of supplement material and then if you really want to set it in a different area, they have one starter set that's based off episode seven. Mm -hmm. Um, So Ah. that's, if you really want to get into that, they have a starter set, I don't know how much the materials it is. But, and from there you can forms and things and stuff and Mm. you can make it in your imagination. So, dang it, that's why you were stalling for time, I knew it! Are we done? We're not done yet. We're not done. (laughs) And then this monstrosity is gonna do this. <laughs> That's awesome. I got frozen. Her got frozen <coughs> because he doesn't know where the scrote is. He doesn't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> he gets for to throw it. <laughs> so uh, this creature starts to come out and move closer towards you, and it just slowly makes its way as these kind of again these scythe-like hands scrape against the stone of the ground. And it moves forward almost as if it's interested in you, uh, but it doesn't really perceive you as any kind of threat. It slowly mm-hmm. just makes its way, um, closing the distance. So now it's a, kind of at like a medium distance away, but mm-hmm. it hasn't really done mm-hmm. anything yet. Um, and after it does its kind of movement towards you, um, Lieutenant, mm-hmm. uh, what do you do? I uh, I want to immediately like look around and see if there's some way that I can get to like a higher vantage point. If there's you know some thing in my environment that I can use to my advantage. Um, you look around and it's again so it's a weird courtyard that's built within a cave, so you don't mm-hmm. know. But there's these some pillars that are there. Right. Mm-hmm that you can, like statues that you could climb if you wanted to, to try and get some level of height. But it's marginal in the sense that this creature seems to be relatively huge. There's nothing, it'll give you an advantage above right. it, but right. it's a large creature in itself. Cool, I was more thinking like, you know, 
hot acid or something I could push onto. <laughs> got it. But, got uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> it does not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> um, hey, look, we're at Starship Troopers already. Yeah. Might as well. Hidden <laughs> yeah. Temple. It's a bug. I'm bug. not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna provoke it though. I'm. I'm so you're. Your actions just kind of wait and see, or try and climb to get on top. No, of I don't want. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just wait. Yeah. Okay, so as you're seeing this thing move closer again, I mean, I'm gonna draw my blaster like just in case. You just wait to see what it does. Yeah. Um. Io, you're seeing this creature as it slowly moves forward. What do you do? Um, I already have my heavy blaster mm-hmm. at the ready, but again. It hasn't done anything yet, yeah. and I don't want to make it yeah. do something to me, mm-hmm. especially since this thing breathes fire yeah. too. <laughs> right. So, is it still locked eyes on me? It's moving in your direction. Okay. Not nec- at this point now. It seems to kind of just as everyone's just standing still, moving towards mm-hmm. this group. Yeah. Is its vision based on movement? <laughs> is it like a T Rex? <laughs> oh, good question. <clears throat> So you decide just kind of <laughs> weapon at the ready. Weapon at the ready. Waiting to see what it is. Is there enough room to dive roll away if need be? You could easily dive back out mm. okay. the way okay. you came in or Go off closer other, to or the Or closer thing. to uh-huh. it, yes, right. yeah. Either way, there's there's room on either direction to kind mm-hmm. of Got it, okay. Dive. So there's, there's room, but it's not a whole lot of room. I mean, it's a large yeah. okay. courtyard, so right. there's a l- room to maneuver. It just depends on how close this thing right. gets it, to it. Right, got it, got it, okay. So you decide just... Uh, I'm not going to provoke it, no. No! Herg, what do you do? It hasn't attacked yet? Nope. I'm going to attack it. What am okay. I, <laughs> what am I gonna, Herg's going to attack it. Herg's going to look for an opening for when the head isn't focused on where Herg is, mm. and then Herg's going to run under, duck under, and try to get to the underbelly mm-hmm. to do a slicing fibro axe <laughs> attack. <sighs> okay, so mm. you use your cat-like speed yes. to move towards this creature, Capoeira. and you go underneath it to use your yeah. fibro axe. Go ahead and roll your melee. Yes, finally. Something I'm oh. good at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh-huh. It's two purple. Okay. And I will use both boosts and the provision. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're locked in? Yes. I'll add. Oh. So we should Three only have setback to that. one ability yeah. left. Three setback. Uh, yeah. Can you throw those in there? Yep, I sure oh, can. I have to, do I have to move around? Oh, there it is. Oh, boy. Boom. Oh, dang. Ready? So that it's kind of yeah. cool that you can add yeah. them yourself. I, I will say that. Here we go. <laughs> Five oh! successes. <laughs> right. Five successes. You found <sighs> the scrot. <laughs> There's the scrot. <laughs> <laughs> and the damage of your vibro axe uh, is. Um. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be uh, plus three. So it's five plus three mm. plus your brawn. Yes, which is four. <laughs> So wow. 12. Wow. Dang. Yes. Um, unfortunately, if you recall, um, Io handed you back your Vibro Axe way back oh, when. Oh no, after the charge was it, gone. It was uh, <sighs> in not necessarily the most perfect state, but you still use it kind of as you start swinging it, you recall. So your Vibro Axe doesn't possess the ability to cut through armor and things, but you just slam Sparks the blade what happens. into this creature. And as it kind of unfortunately... Crushes all of its internal organs. <laughs> uh, you know, if you had that ability, it would be able to cut through its kind of thick insectoid armor. But instead, it just gets stuck uh, in it. it. You see some level of kind of like green gooby pus come out of it. So you've definitely cut into it. But your damage is lessened by the fact that your weapon isn't working functionally, so. Does Herg have any extra power packs on his person? I believe everyone Everybody grabbed them yeah, we when did. you were in the... Yeah. When you're um, packing up for this whole camping yeah. excursion yep. here. Yeah. Yep. Can, I, can I replace it next turn? Can on I your next turn, you can use yeah. a free action. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah. Cool. Um, so hold so on. Then Herg 
dislodges his vibro axe that is not vibrating, so it's just an axe. <laughs> it's just a regular axe. And then he uh, rolls out of the way to not get stomped by this creature or to not get hurt. You spend your entire time moving up there, so now you're just up I'm at there. it. I'm there. Yeah, you're okay. up at it. Um, turn around and go, guys? <laughs> <laughs> TO-316, yeah. you are commanding two troopers that you yes. have never had any experience with. No. Fighting a creature that you have heard rumors of, yes. but never engaged personally. Yeah. What do you do and what are your orders? Uh, I want to hit it with uh, a frag grenade. Okay. So I have a frag grenade, but I want mm -hmm. them to shoot it with their blasters to distract it while I hit it with a frag grenade. Okay, so they both are going to try and move up to shoot at it. Right. These two are just standing still, doing nothing. Yes. So I need... I'm not going to poke a bear while asleep. Exactly. <laughs> Erg already poked it. We're, we're all in now. I got to wait for my turn. <laughs> yes, we're all in now. <clears throat> um. That's nice. The music came yeah. out. <laughs> CT557. Oh, God. Um, Trust that guy. Kind of, you see him shake his head and just lets out a scream as he charges towards the creature firing his blaster. Jesus Christ, CT. Oh, here we go. It doesn't seem to, uh, all of his shots kind of go long. Of course. But the creature focuses all of its attention on the trooper. Aww. Okay. Um, CT341, on the other hand, moves slightly off to the right, takes a knee, lines up a shot, and starts firing at the creature's neck. It's hitting into it. Good. You see parts of its scales start to like boil Good. and melt as these blasts kind of go in and carterize the shots. But this creature's full focus is on uh, CT557. Okay. Um, and as, and then you throw your grenade. Yeah, let's do it. What do I do? So you're gonna go ahead and roll, and you're gonna do, uh, a, actually, you're gonna do a range light on this. Where is, oh, range light, okay, so. Okay. It's only gonna be two purple. Okay. Come on, Tio. Oh, take the ability. I yeah. take, it, yeah, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. All right. Take the ability. I thought I used some of these, and I don't know if they're back, so I'm gonna wait and confirm those are. So I'm gonna add a challenge dice to this. Oh, which is red. red. Oh, you bastard. All right. Mm -hmm. Unless they came back in that case. Mm -hmm. And then you're locked in and roll it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So oh, you try to time the grenade and you click down. Beep, 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 beep. And you're trying to cook it a little bit yeah. before you throw it. Um, and as you throw it, it goes towards this creature. Right. And it flies over it <laughs> oh, and no. goes past it and explodes behind it. Right. Um, in doing so, right, it just kind of <laughs> shrapnel rains down upon the creature, but just seems to kind of fly off of it to sort of no sort of damage. physical damage. But the explosion draws the creature's gaze away from okay. the trooper mm -hmm. and off behind it. So it's now completely mm -hmm. looking back towards kind of where it was sitting at. Also, okay. by the way, isn't Herg still like Is he stuck still under the creature with the axe? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, oh, <laughs> Herg will be fine, he's nine foot tall. Yeah, see, not indestructible, he's made out of fur. <laughs> I'm a tall being, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Troy, I remember that. You're a strong, this is a strong being. I tried to hit it with a frag grenade so it would just just kill it. So, um, okay, do I tell CT557 uh, uh, five, five, to run back behind? Everything's happening very yeah. quick. Okay, okay. So, it, despite the creature now having seen this explosion, yeah. it turns back around at the group Damn and it. seems ah, to kind of crap. just scan everybody as if it's looking for somebody to to eat. Target. <laughs> oh boy. Well. <laughs> Despite momentarily distracting the creature. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um, <laughs> from CT557, also oh, known as Diego. No. 
the creature locks eyes out with him, and you see this kind of red, <sighs> amber forming oh, in its no! fire. fire. As it looks uh. down at the trooper, who's continuing to scream as he's <clears throat> moving at it. Oh, oh no! Just has M and M's back there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's oh, you Jesus. see this flame <clears throat> emerge from its mouth. It's like almost as if a flamethrower mm-hmm. just kind of spreading out uh, in the area, and just the area, the trooper is just engulfed oh. in these flames. Oh. Yep. And as you see it, you hear this scream. Um, and when the fire stops, there's a body that's crumpled onto the ground. Um, his armor is blackened from the scorching. He does not seem to be moving, but you don't know what his state is. He's unmoved. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so as he collapses and the creature starts to then slowly continue to move towards that thing that he did. And Herg's still attached as to it. Herg is still down oh, below. Geez. You've pulled your axe out as it moves towards Diego. Sons of Barab. Um, so now that you've seen this creature, um, mm-hmm. Lieutenant, Yes. what do you do? I want to uh, shoot at the creature from an, a vantage point that would stop it from continuing its assault on Diego, who is probably dead, but could be alive. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna try and shoot at it while also kind of drawing its attention, yeah, maneuvering wanna, it. Yeah, I wanna draw its attention away. Okay. Specifically just trying to do the action of draw it away or trying to also hit at it? No, specifically trying to distract it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and roll. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be uh, two purple. It's gonna use your uh, range. Well, you have a blast. Yeah, I have right. Yeah, I have a blaster. light. Yeah, and then you're gonna get a boost to Ooh. this, a natural boost. Nice. Oh. And I am locked in. <laughs> I'm gonna add a setback to that. Cool. That's a black. Black. It's not cool. And then roll that. <laughs> oh! I got a triumph. Yay! Nice. And three so, disadvantages. <clears throat> oh boy. You. <laughs> Four actually. Yes, four. Oh, that's right. Thank yeah. you. Four. Um, kind of try to <laughs> distract the creature by right. shooting around its face. Right. And, and getting it to uh, focus on you. Yeah. Um, and as you are firing um, these shots, they go up and uh, are hitting the ceiling. Mm-hmm. And this old building, chunks of this mm. Mm. Yes. roof just <laughs> crash down on the creature's head. Mm-hmm. And it, you see as blood and uh, and some sort of like green goop come out of its face, right. and one of its eyes is closed, and it stopped its sure um, attack of right. Diego. Right, but it's because it's fully focused on, focused on me. What you, <laughs> yep. Okay. Got it. Copy. <laughs> okay. Um, Herb breaks protocol and shouts, "Captain!" <laughs> I O. Yes. <laughs> What do you do? Okay, so how much damage has been done to this bug? Because Ooh, Diego shot it. It was it was Diego, right? Who shot it in the neck? Um, no, it was the was sergeant yeah. Yeah. who shot at it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Herga stabbed it at it with its axe. Okay. Um, nothing really happened from the grenade. Right. right. Um, and now uh, parts of the roof have collapsed onto it. Okay. Um, and it's partially blind. Its eye is closed. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it seems um, to be bleeding, but not really. To dying. Um, <laughs> more annoyed than anything else. Got it. Um, and Herg's vibro axe is stuck. Uh, he's been able to abdomen. pull it out okay. as it's walking. Just under the creature. Yeah. And he's made it through the exoskeleton with the axe. His one stab, yes. Okay, great. So I join Herg right underneath the creature, out of the range of fire. I stick my blaster in the opening Ooh. that he's made and oh, I fire snap. away. Nice. Okay. Yep. Uh, roll. Okay, that is my four ranged heavy, yes. Yes. Uh, you're using your heavy blaster rifle? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. This is against. Two purple. Two purple. Does she get something for firing at point blank? Um, you're gonna get, if you hit, oh. bonuses. But. Okay. okay. I your... am locked in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I'd... I'm gonna use, I have it here. This is either a mistake or not, but I'm gonna use a setback to this. All okay. Right. Uh, black, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Locked in. Roll it. Imagine how cool it would be Wait. if she had other dice to add. Mm -hmm. One success. All right! Nice. Um, so, you have one success, mm -hmm. and your weapon and damage does how much? Uh, a million. Uh, yeah, a million uh, heavy. That's my blaster rifle, yes? Yep. Okay, nine damage. So it's nine Ooh. plus one, so mm -hmm. that's 10. Um, nice. So as you move towards her and you slide, underneath mm -hmm. its belly and you just shove this blaster into it mm -hmm. to this, you see this, this like a cravat. green yeah. ooze coming out mm -hmm. of this perfect cut that's in its uh, armor. You just shove this blaster in and just fire. Fire away. Uh, bypassing its regular soap value and just you just hear this <laughs> um, as more kind of the hole that you hit uh, expands a little bit as it warps from the heat, as the armor kind of melts from the inside. Um, spreading all over your gun. It's gross, okay. Um, yeah. And now the creature seems incredibly enraged. Okay. But it hasn't jammed my gun, has it? It's all over my gun. I did not get a disadvantage. Uh, no, wait, I didn't get a disadvantage. Well, you, not, you have to get a disadvantage. Yeah, oh, that's right. Of this. Mm. Dark yeah. side effect oh, wait. you have going on. Did I get two advantages? I think it got no, hit what again because you had there? one success. Uh, yeah, that's true. Okay. So I think it, anytime it gets oh, tapped, yeah. it, auto, it does a. Oh, yeah, got it. it. Okay. Um, I don't like this. Herg. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you do? Herg pulls a William Shatner. Okay. <laughs> and rolls out of the way. I know, different universe. Rolls out of the way, grabs a power pack, loads up his vibra axe, and is going to attempt to climb the creature from the top, get into position. So I'm gonna keep talking until you tell me that's all I can do in a turn. Oh, okay. Well, I just wanted to see what you were doing and I was gonna tell you what you could actually, so you're trying to, we'll say free action, you're putting the thing in. Roll out of the way. Your movement is to jump out and you're gonna do another movement to jump up on top of the creature. Yes, correct. Uh, okay, so you're gonna do. I'm heading uh, for its neck and head. Athletics for this. Yes, oh, I'm good at that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. And it's gonna be three purple. Uh, okay, and I'm locked in. I'll add a setback to that, a black dice. No biggie. No oh, biggie. Do it. You're good at this. Boom. You got this. One success. Oh, oh, three, oh. Four disadvantages and, and a triumph. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, <laughs> yes. You duck out, you roll out of the way. And William Shatner did as you. <laughs> yes. And in the process of doing that, you quickly replace the power pack in your <laughs> weapon. Um, and you use your large hind legs to jump at the creature. Yeah. Um, and as you jump on it, you land exactly where you wanted to, which is on the back of the neck, yes. like right above the head. That's my plan B. Um, but in jumping at the creature, it starts to move as you're coming at it. So to fully latch on, you drop your vibro axe. No! Oh, my life. No! I would never. <laughs> So now you ride this creature. There's something psychological happening. As okay. you just on top of this creature. Yes. You're at saddle range. Yes. <laughs> um, it. Yeah. So Great. you're on top. You're riding it. You're riding it. Great. Okay. Um, and just real quick, a, a, a triumph. That's not the same as a destiny point, correct? Destiny point is something else. Uh, those are something else. So this is like a, a super heroic event, right? Gotcha. So you're now on top of it and it seems like you are able to kind of direct its attention in a certain way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> this way, creature, this way. <laughs> Which is? Oh, away from everybody else. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so having dropped your vibro axe, you yes. uh, harness now both of your, you sink these claws into mm -hmm. the back of this creature's neck and you're trying to just pull it in the direction that you want it to go. 
and it's kind of bucking, and uh, it seems very frustrated that you're on top. Where but is it, everyone right now? Where is everybody? What's the well? If you're Washington pulling it away, <laughs> I always <laughs> like, really. yeah. There's like a whole ring of people in front of you, and it seems like you're trying. Diego's burnt to a crisp. Whole row of people. Okay. Well, we and you're know. turning it so that it's like kind of back side. Yes, 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 yes. Right, because you're pulling it away, so it's now yes. kind of revealing itself. Uh, it's <sighs> flank, or it's it's rear to you, right? Herg gets visions of <laughs> being on Tagoria and flying with the Mazgoth, which are these big reptilian flying creatures mm -hmm. that many eons ago would be uh, preyed upon by other creatures, so Togorians would camp near them for protection until they eventually were able to uh, oh. tame them Ooh. as their steeds. I so. see. Yeah. So this isn't your first rodeo. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> ah. Literally. So, uh, T.O. 316, yeah. you, again, just saw one of your troopers uh, kind yeah. of engulfed in flames, but the other one to your right seems competent, and yeah. You don't really fully know what to make of this group in front of you because they act in a much more kind of uh, unconventional <laughs> tactics yeah. you've seen. But as everything unfolds, they charge in with a bravery, and it's gotten to the point where one of them now rides this creature yeah. and starts to try and pull it away, revealing its kind of soft underbelly. Yeah. And you decide to do what in order and give what orders. I kind of want to follow. This is ridiculous. <laughs> But I kind of want to follow Io's lead and implant a grenade inside. Oh! So it's about to get real messy. Do you, yeah. do you recommend the AP grenade or the frog grenade? Well, frag you grenade. used your frag. So that I only have one. You only have okay, one. Then, damn. Yeah, we gotta get out of this situation. The AP grenade then. Damn. Okay. So you're actually going to try and don't blow uh, up my hand. Don't blow up my hand. Use yeah. your athletics. Okay. As you move close to this creature, you're uh, trying okay. to maneuver your way in. Okay. And it's going to be three purple. Uh, okay. And uh, roll it. Is that updated? Is that all the way updated? Ah! <laughs> 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 it still looks like you guys got it. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. <gasps> oh! <gasps> dang. That's okay. Good. Three hits? Three, three one, success and two disadvantage, because you have an extra two. one. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So nice. <clears throat> you run forward, not relaying anything. Do you say anything as you do it? Herg, if this thing blows, jump off as soon as it blows. As soon yes, as I put this in obviously. there. Obviously. <laughs> okay, all right. And as you say that, <laughs> You're maneuvering, and it's again these large scythe-like creatures right. coming down, scraping the stone, and and you maneuver your way through, not focusing on anything else around you. You just transfix yourself on this kind of bright green hole, of this goop that's coming out of this creature. That is your focus, not the burnt trooper, right. not everyone else, not the nine-foot-tall cat creature. And as you snake your way through, one of the scythes comes up and kind of hits you oh. as yeah. you're coming to it perfectly sneaks its way into part of your armor. Okay. And it and it stabs in, but you pushes it off you push mm -hmm. it off you and just jam this anti-personnel grenade that you've activated into the creature and duck out of the way. Okay. Um, it lets out kind of like an uncomfortable <laughs> as this grenade goes off. So, Herg, I need you to do another athletics check. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. I'm, I'm sorry to always miss you, Herg, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. And I'll just use fucking nothing, great. <laughs> My thing went down, so we're gonna see if maybe, I'm gonna refresh it, and of course you're gonna, we're all gonna all have right. like, just... a good jillion of these. But, uh, no, sorry, just kidding, you have none. Uh, <laughs> Cool it would be fantastic. Guys. Three purple. And, I'm and you're going to get one yeah. natural boost because yes. you were warned yeah. that this mm -hmm. was about to happen. Smart. Smart. But I'm going to cancel that by using my last setback. Uh, mm -hmm. Here we go. Roll it. Three advantage. Right. Ooh. Three, three, three success. success. Uh, two, two disadvantage. disadvantage. So you. <clears throat> <laughs> 
feel this rumbling within the creature as, and almost as if like half of the weight behind the creature has suddenly just disappeared. It starts to like fall back and you spring off of its head. Oh, I thought I was gonna ride its tail like Fred Flintstone. <laughs> <laughs> you start Legolas to spring off it, but you flip back and ride down. And as you're riding down the back of this creature, you see what was clearly now two separations of the hind and the front. Uh, and now all these guts are coming through. Oh. And as you tuck and roll off the back, you try to land, but there's guts and, uh, and things that take too strain as you tuck and roll and you feel like a slight tensing of your legs. But as this explosion kind of echoes through this room, you hear this creature's final last like death cries as it now is and starts twitching and you see the front half of it uh, like turn on its back and the legs kind of like crawl up uh, and silence as this room you're now left yet again in the open courtyard of this room. <clears throat> Swooping up, you pick up your fiber axe. Oh man. I run over to Herg first. Herg, are you all right? I'm fine. Jesus. You're welcome. Why are you trying to kill her? What? I just saved your lives again. All I'm saying is you seem to be doing it with a little bit of disregard yeah, Well, for the life of the Tagorian here. He's a strong Tagorian. I knew he'd be fine. Let's go check on CT557 and see what the situation is there. 341, come with. I.O., do whatever you want to do. <laughs> That's right. As you give the order to uh, CT341, um, normally she seemed to respond to all of your orders very promptly, and um, she doesn't say anything. And as you turn around, she blaster is kind of dropped from her hand as she stares at the burnt body of uh, <clears throat> CT557. She seems a little bit unresponsive. <sighs> okay. But you move. Right, you I want to move towards, yeah. okay. Maybe, um, maybe the captain. Captain, will you check out, will you talk to 341? Will you, yeah. CT-341, what's wrong? It's the best bedside manner I've ever heard. Get it yeah. together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, uh, get it together. So you're gonna do your... Uh, Is there a mean? <laughs> the rolls for mean? <laughs> Slapper. She ain't the, she ain't the captain for nothing, son. Do your, do your leadership on okay, this one. Okay, got it, got it. No problem, I got some ranks in that. Herb turns to I.O. and says, there's no point, he's dead. There's no way he could have survived. Okay, that. locked can, in, because there's smell. nothing else I can do. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be two purple. Yeah, he's dead. Yes. I trust your senses. And a natural setback. Okay. And I'm locked in, roll it. I'm locked in. All right. <laughs> oh, <snap. laughs> Two success, one triumph. Nice. So when you say it, you see a fist kind of clench as you just kind of tell her to get it together. Mm -hmm. And as if what you've just said has made her extremely angry, but she swoops down, picks up her rifle, and continues to move. Uh, you hear her openly calm, um, securing the area. as She starts to move off. Um, and the inflection in her voice, you've heard it before. Um, you know that it's the sound of someone who's lost maybe someone that they were intimate with. And you know that mm. you take that for whatever you, you do, but um, she moves into, kind of farther into the, the enclave. She was in mm. love with the bug creature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so sad. So the tale is old as time. <laughs> Song is old as rhyme. <laughs> Sergeant <laughs> and the <laughs> I knew this the whole time, yeah. by the way. Yeah. I had a suspicion that they were together. <sighs> Just for the reactions to everything. All right. I let her go. So you're checking on, yeah. five, on five, seven. the trooper. Yeah. Um, All right. 
And what? you're trying to just make sure that he's just alive? Yeah, I'm trying to make sure he's alive. What the situation is? Do, well, yeah, do your medicine. Okay. Um, yeah, right. do your medicine. Okay. It's only me two purple. Okay. Locked. And that's it. Okay. In. Let's do this thing. Mmm, one success. So yes. as is that right? Yeah. Okay. You yeah. and one disadvantage. Right. Oh yeah. Because mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. that. Oh, uh, not necessarily. Wait. Yes, that is correct. Yes, yeah. one disadvantage. And then, yeah. So as you Damn. check the body and you turn him over. Yeah. It's clear to you that the trooper is alive. Yes. <sighs> but not for long. Right. As <sighs> armor has now melted into flesh Ugh. and he's oh. seeming to. Oof. Um, not be very responsive to you, but for like maybe the next few moments, yeah. he's able to communicate, but he seems to be just, all you hear is just like shivering as his body starts to shut down. I think I saw this on most of our ones. Yeah. Uh, do I, do I, do I? Uh, ah, shit, what would I even ask him? Uh, Am I close enough yeah, so that I, I was can see this say, going down? Uh, you were talking to the trooper, so unless you started to walk back, you're so, not quite there yet. So I, I, right. I suspect there's some there's something going on between them, so I call 341 over. Okay. C3341, get, get over here now! I'm Captain, you too. So everyone, the, the two of them start moving right. towards you. I owe it hurt. Mm -hmm. I'm checking my blaster mm -hmm. because I got all of this green bug crap on on it. And it's yes. a really good blaster, so I want to make sure that it's still functional. <laughs> We're checking our weapons yeah. and yeah. giving them distance. So as you kind of let whatever's happening unfold, you kind of both take a moment to kind mm -hmm. of pair up together, kind of reflecting on the fact that this event mm -hmm. just happened. Um, heard your, you turn on your vibra axe and it comes to life, singing a sweet song that you are it familiar purrs. with. It purrs. <laughs> Um, and I O U proceed to start cleaning off this gunk that's mm -hmm. gotten in like the front barrel. Make sure nothing's barrel. jamming anything. Um, and you slowly kind of just do some tricks that you know mm -hmm. to kind of clear the chamber. So using a, expending like a little bit of time, you're able to kind of clear it off. But you have a brief moment of kind of reflecting off the battle that you just had. Mm -hmm. Just another Friday. <laughs> <laughs> is that what today is? <laughs> <laughs> that is what. I've lost time. I've lost track of all time. We're in a cave right now. It's been months. Yeah. Uh, so. I still don't trust them. Okay. You both arrive at the same time. And you're still there on top of kind of over yeah. the trooper. Um, Do I take his helmet off? You can try and take his helmet off. Yeah, yeah. I want to take his helmet off. So carefully, uh, you thankfully it's a cave trooper, which is very similar to yeah. a scout trooper. So right. it's the, you're able to. Most of the helmet has been kind of melted in, into him, but they have a latch that's able to open. So right. you can't remove the helmet, but you're able to see his face. Open it and see his face. Okay. And much of his face seems to be intact because he had the helmet to protect it. Yeah. But you just see uh, this kind of dullness in his eyes as the light starts to fade a little bit, and he just stares up uh, at the wall, at the ceiling. Okay. Is she gonna say something to him? I feel like the kid, you, you've been Just, going nuts about him being your contact, so. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna like get down on his level and I'm just, and I just ask him, does she know? Mm, good. Cause I know, I got the sense from our previous interaction that like they had a thing going on, so. Oh, does she know yeah, does about she know you guys? About us. Yeah. Um, go ahead and roll your charm. Okay. <clears throat> Charming a dead guy. Charming a <laughs> dying guy. Ah, oh, thank you for the boosts. Yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, and to show my appreciation, I'm gonna take one. <laughs> uh, two purple. Locked in? Uh, locked in. 
Three success, one advantage. That Ooh. advantage disappears. Right, so three success. So three success. <clears throat> you see the eyes as they come back to you as you talk to him. And he just still kind of stares through you. And he slowly looks over at the trooper next to you. And he just looks into the visor and you see like his eyes start to water a little bit. And then like looks back to you and from his look, it looks, it's very slight. It's very subtle. Right. He doesn't say anything, but he shakes his head no. The what? He shakes his head? Mm -hmm. Okay. His head, no. <sighs> and Girl, he lied to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't hear them have this interaction, do I? You're right there. Yeah. Right. So you just go, does she, all you say is, does, does she, she know? know? And as far as you can tell, there's just no response. Right? Okay. And uh, Diego slowly turns back to um, CT. Um, 341. 341. 341. Mm -hmm. And as like the tears start to like continue to like fall down his face, he opens his mouth to say something. What does she say? Nothing that you can hear. 341 says nothing? Nothing that anyone can hear. Oh. Mm. All right. This saddens me. I put the mask back on his face. We should bury him somewhere. We should put him somewhere under the rocks or something. Yeah. Um. We're gonna, somebody has to stay, somebody has to, Herg and I'll do it. You all consult. I'll do it. I will do it. As, uh, 341? 341, just kind of steps forward. Take them inside, I'll, I'll, I'll do this. Let her. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. She just kind of, Condolences. Stands over the body. Um, you get the feeling that she doesn't want to talk. And she just is waiting for you all to leave the room. <clears throat> okay, so we walk over to like the other. Oh, I guess we walk over to join you guys, right? Because mm -hmm. you guys haven't walked over, have you? Mm -hmm. So we'll walk over to check in on them. Let's forge ahead. Where to, Captain? I don't know. <laughs> this is uncharted territory, right? So, mm -hmm. the courtyard kind of all funnels towards this one door that leads farther into this facility that you don't really know anything about. Um, despite the broken doors on the outside, this door is open but not broken, and it starts to lead into the rest of this facility. Hmm. While we're here, wait, go ahead. I was, no, I. While we're here. I need some answers. <sighs> and I want them without 341 being here. <clears throat> what are you all really doing here? Does it matter? Yeah, it does now. At this point, we're all trapped in a cave. We're either going to get out of here together or we're gonna die. Were you looking for a Jedi Enclave? Yeah. Why? Why does it matter? Because if I'm gonna lead you there, I need to know why. Lieutenant, you should tell him about the classified mission from the Empire. Why we're really here. 
From the Empire. Yes. All right. We're seeking a Jedi artifact that is supposedly somewhere in this enclave. What for? I don't know what for. We were only sent to retrieve it. What's the artifact look like? We don't know. What we know is that we would find it in the Jedi Enclave, in a place made for it, and that it is an item of great power, supposed to give the glorious Empire an advantage over mm. the Rebels, to crush them once and for all. I can't believe a word they're saying. I'm not even, I can't I even, but I can't play that. So 341, is 341 join us by this time? She's, she's still, no, she's still she's over there. Doing Continuing doing your thing. All right. I, <laughs> I don't know what to do at this point because I really want to question, even keep questioning, but, because we can't keep moving forward without 341. We're, we can't keep moving forward until 341 shows up. Why don't you guys get some rest for a few minutes? And I'm gonna to talk to the captain. I've already taken a seat <clears throat> and leaned back against a rock formation. I am sharpening my ax. Why does Herd know more about this artifact than you do? Shh. Shh. I told you, we are only being Shh. sent to retrieve it. Remember, she is an Imperial uh, officer. Right. So you're speaking to an officer in this fashion. My ranking is? Um, a non-commissioned. non -com oh, so I'm, in, I'm an NCO. S all right. Ma'am. <laughs> yeah, I was in for a while, ma'am. Why does Herg know more about this artifact than you do? He doesn't know more about it than I do. He's just more loose-lipped than I am. I heard that's, that. That's <laughs> the truth. That is the truth. He's a Tagorian. They're not the brightest. All right but they're handy in battle. All right, all right. Well, what do you want to do now? I want to continue onward and hope that if we find something unusual and seemingly of interest, then perhaps it is what we're looking for. Okay. That. I will lead you then. All right. We wait for 341. Do you want to wait for 341? I don't want to abandon her if that is your question. Yeah. Okay. You take your time waiting, and as you do, the <clears throat> eeriness of this enclave only kind of um, continues to grow within you. Um, and as you look around um, and take your time after it seems like a few minutes. Um, the sergeant returns um, holding a blaster and I'm ready to move out, sir. <clears throat> okay. I'll take point. Herg, if you don't mind. Bring it up the rear again. I owe do as you wish. <laughs> Captain, <clears throat> do you want to stay with 341? Here in the middle? Yes. Okay. And real quick, we have reached the end of the second hour. Mm. Oh! oh look at where we're at! Yay! <laughs> like it mm -hmm. in tier three light side. Woo! Damn straight. Boo! No. Boo! Definitely not your first rodeo. <laughs> uh, so, yes. look, here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of information stored in the DNA archives at Camino. Um, and the Empire, specifically, uh, with all the situations they had, realized, hey, it might be good to relook into this whole Django Fett clone template mm. and see what we can do to bring back some of them. Um, however, unfortunately, out of all the files that they attempted to recover, they were unable to find an effective full DNA template mm. and uh, must continue using the means that they have now. Stormtroopers, not yeah. as good. <laughs> uh, so with that, 
Um, everyone is going to increase yes. their intellect Ooh. by one. We're all nice. a little smarter this round. I never use that, so I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> and we're going to start the last and final segment. Uh, this can end anywhere from 30 seconds from now to 20 minutes from now. The time is unknown. So with that, we're not sure. So if you see this timer, it's kind of, uh, you know, you can't quote snipe it. So yeah. we'll see, we'll see. So with that, we're gonna just move, jump right into it. You guys are moving farther into this yes. um, strange structure. Um, does anybody have any sort of knowledge on Jedi or any sort of like old? <clears throat> I have Republic. So. Lord, no. I Lord. have underworld <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> nope. I know how to kill things. I have intelligence, though. I'm a smart person. You go ahead and roll. Yeah. Go okay. ahead and roll. I will. I'll use that plus one intelligence I'm getting right now. Yeah, I'm not going to use that at all this, this next round. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, what's the... Three what's purple? Three. Use that boost. I'm use taking that boost. boost. Captain is best kept. Uh, that's it, locked in, okay. roll it. <laughs> Two success, one advantage. As you move farther into this complex, you don't <clears throat> know why, but something seems off. And the farther you move into it, it seems like you don't, aren't fully um, learned in the Old Republic, but right. as you move in, this doesn't seem to be right Right with your images of what a Jedi facility looks like. The farther you no. move in, it seems to be it's something different. Something you can't quite place what it is, but it's clearly built off some sort of framework of a Jedi facility, as if maybe somebody had rebuilt this. Right. But, but it doesn't uh, quite seem right. Something is off with the way that the building is <laughs> laid out. Jeez. And as you move farther into it, you get to a point where it branches off to the left, and it branches off to the right. To the right. And 341 turns around and just goes and out loud, I don't know which way to go. I pull out my tracking device. Mm. Uh. Let's hope this thing still works. <clears throat> and as you turn it on, mm -hmm. it almost shakes in your hand. Okay. As uh. the reading of this uh, thing that you're looking for is closer now than it's ever been. Okay. And. It's beep, 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 indicating that to the right, mm -hmm. it's relatively close. You're almost right on top of it. Which way? If this is correct, we go right. Careful. Something isn't right here. What do you mean, Lieutenant? I think I'm... No Jedi, but this doesn't seem right. It's almost as if someone knew, had seen paintings or images of old Jedi enclaves and tried to recreate that, but didn't get it exactly right. I but you said we're going to the right? And to 341 motions, should I yep. take point? Yes, should I take, I'm gonna take point. Should we, 341, you wanna take point? She Are you in a condition to take point? Yes, and continues just to start walking to the right. right. I say we follow her. It might be a trap. Well, if the tracker says go right, your tracker there that IO has, shouldn't we go? Ma'am? I'm torn. Part of me feels like <laughs> if it is a trap, even if we go the other way, whoever's trying to catch us is gonna come after us, so 
we might as well confront them head on. It's the plan I like. Okay. You see 341. Your Vibroax charged her. Come back around the corner yes. and looks at you confused. Like, are we? Just wait one minute. We're coming. Yes. Get your blaster ready, Io. Mm-hmm. One step ahead of I'll you. I'll take second point. Lead the way, 341. She turns back around and starts heading you through this way. Your tracker's still out. Herb mm-hmm. follows. And as you walk down this passageway, it starts to get louder and louder and louder mm-hmm. until it's you're nearly on top. And you see, you look up, and there's just another building <gasps> with non another another room with nondescript doors in front of it, um, leading into some room. And it's just beep 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 Well, seems like whatever we're looking for is behind door number one. Only one way to find out. Yes. Sir, I'll should I stand guard outside? Yeah. Stand guard outside. So she kind of crouches and looks at the down the door. I think maybe we should just see if it's open first. Yeah. I wanted to break down the door. <laughs> <laughs> Herb reaches out and tries to open the. And you hear Carefully clanking her. behind, as if kind of gears and machinery is working. It's not machinery? some sort of mm. electric device, and you hear it. <laughs> And the door slowly opens, and you're just kind of hit with this just uh, intense smell as if there's some sort of like stagnant air that's been trapped in here for years and years and years. And as it finally closes or opens, do I smell anything else? I have a heightened sense of smell. Perception. Oh, (laughs) cunning. Two. Uh, Okay. That's it. Um, um, oh, that? Okay. <laughs> fine, fine. Okay, go. Two purple. I'm done. You want to use your boost? Nah. Do it. Ooh, two oh. successes, two disadvantages. One, one disadvantage. One disadvantage. Oh, one right, yeah, yes! Yeah, round two fun. is over. Thank you. As you step forward and try and you were just hit with this, again, the stagnant air. And as you're trying to process it, it gives you, kind of overloads your senses of this strange smell of, as if this room had been closed for thousands of years. And you smell nothing else in there besides this, but it overwhelms you and temporarily kind of um, wrinkles your brain, for lack of a better word. So you're gonna take one strain for this. Okay, Herc steps back and is able to mutter, it's, it's, been closed for a very long time. Very long time. <clears throat> what do you do? All right. Yeah. Well, in we go then. And, and so far, my tracker is showing us to be on top of this thing, so it's in, not pointing us in any particular <clears throat> direction. You're not. It's not pointing you in any particular direction. You just know that it's in this room. All right. Okay. In we go then. As you enter this room you start to see a little bit more. It's still difficult because it's dark, but everyone kind of shines their lights across this room. You're seeing this dust. Strange, almost like childlike drawings are like on the wall of these, depicting these events of these actions that you can't quite make it out. And it's just all of these banners that are also hanging from the wall that are worn and, and faded and everything, all these pillars that surround it, all kind of focus the attention of the room to one thing that's just in the middle and raised off the floor. Looks to be some sort of stone sarcophagus. Mm. Oh, snap! I know how to use words. Not not well. Not good, but this this stone sarcophagus (laughs) is there, and it's almost as if for some reason, like the, despite being in a, in a cave, this unnatural kind of a, a feeling of this light that kind of focuses all this attention on this. And it, 
the readings are going off the scales on your. Is device. the sarcophagus like adorned in any way, like a mummy sarcophagus? Like you can try and to uh, indicate examine. Yeah. What kind of mm -hmm. like person would be inside of here? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and do your uh, perception on this. Okay. At this point, I'm hanging back. Yeah. <laughs> Just perception, watch them do that's stuff. Cunning, okay. Yeah. Yep. And then, so uh, Lieutenant just walks straight towards <clears> it. <throat> I'm taking a boost. Kind of focused oh, on this. You're using a boost? Yeah. It's going to be uh, two purple. What does Io and her do? Locked in. I am also locked Are in. Are any of the banners, drawings, anything? <laughs> drawing anything to uh, to Herd's knowledge to, of his lore? Nothing. I'm Nothing. not even going to roll for it then. Okay. <laughs> Three success. Nice. So you are approaching an IO. Is mm -hmm. there anything that you're doing as you're holding this? I'm holding this in one hand mm -hmm. and I have my blaster in the other. And Herg's, Herg's got his eyes on T.O. <laughs> so as you hold the device and you're there, yeah. the captain just moves by herself towards this. Yes. And you start to examine the stone. I'm um, covering you, Captain. Sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. And it's as if someone had carved a story into the top of the structure, but it seems very worn, and all you can see is the making out of these figures that, again, kind of similar telling the story. And as you are kind of trying to understand it, you see that it's, it's like these panels of a story uh -huh. being told, and it, everything is worn, except for one panel. And you're examining it for a while because as you look at this panel, you're confused because it shows three individuals reaching for some sort of item. And the more you look at these, normally they have more, this has more detail than the others, but you're confused because it looks like two of these individuals are female and one of them is the distinct look of a nine foot tall cat creature. What the hell? A nine foot tall what? Cat creature. Oh. Herg jogs up to catch up to Captain. Lieutenant. Is one of the figures holding a tracker? <laughs> and a, and a blaster. <laughs> Lieutenant, it is one of those, what is the word in basic? Scarophaguses. <laughs> Good try, Herg. Lieutenant, it is a scarophagus. It's okay. He, almost. Herg, do you get the distinct feeling that this? Oh shit! It's a Tagore. <laughs> it's a Tagore female. <laughs> no, oh. I know it's not. It's a distinct shape of a Tagorean female. It's, I think it's a Tagore. I think I know what a Tagore. <laughs> <is. laughs> Did this maybe doesn't? Uh, <coughs> oh, these two are females, but that's a Tagorean male. That's a Tagorean male. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the other shit, two are male. females. And as you reach, because you're like, oh shit, and you touch it, the slab pushes down. Oh. Wait, have we all touched? No, just no, her. No, just us. All right, cool. Just That's her. Again. Still, I'm still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> do, you continue, do you continue to hang back? Yeah, I continue to hang back. And I don't know what's going to jump out of this. <laughs> I turn back. Oh, no. <laughs> You see this thing start to slowly, again, it's strange because it's made of stone, but it's somehow maneuvering itself off and... He reaches his arm out. Captain, get back, get back, Captain. <laughs> get back. And you, you both step back? Yeah. And you just see, again, this dust in the air as this thing has been opened. It's a Targaryen. What is this place? Nothing happens. Her... Pe peeps I'll over the side, reaches over to see. Yeah. I lean what's, over with what's, him. What's inside? As you lean over, looking into this structure. Scarophagus. 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 <laughs> you find it completely empty, <sighs> except for one thing. And it's hard to see at first, but it catches some of the light off of your headlamps. It's a small, small item, probably about the size of two of these dice. 
Okay. okay. That's it. It's just inside. Herc lifts it up. Captain, look. What is this? Shine your light on. As you go to pick it up. Oh. Uh, go ahead and roll. Like Indiana Jones. I know. A big grand <laughs> ball comes out of the wall. <laughs> we all run. Uh, what am I rolling, Bert? Uh, <laughs> intelligence? You're going to do your willpower. <sighs> Just willpower? Here. Willpower. Okay. I got it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You're going to roll on the thing. Uh, damn it. <laughs> I did good. I rolled good. And it's going to be five red. What? Okay, definitely take Can the Can I keep those? <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Fine, I'll take the Fine. one boost. Oh. Uh, go ahead and roll it. I'm going to lose my fucking hand right now. <laughs> Great, I got two. Wow, that's surprisingly, surprisingly not low. that bad. Wow. Two Considering. <clears throat> oh, a As you pick it up. <laughs> Wow. It's as if Dang. you're momentarily transported. Oh. Everything around you changes oh, from Dang. the Jedi Enclave back to some sort of beach. And off in the distance, you can't quite Am make I out. Am I on Tagoria? Do I know if I'm on Tagoria? You're not on Tagoria. <laughs> okay. This but is you see a this beach, way. and you see a bunch of people crowded around this beach. And it seems like there's some sort of gathering. Some sort of gathering and you're pulled back into this cave, Whoa. the enclave. And as you realize, you look at this thing. Captain, did you see that? N no. Did you see what just happened? I saw you pick up that thing. I don't know what it is. What are you talking about up there? keep calling you? I was transported. Yeah. Oh, you guys are here now? Okay. Uh, <laughs> what, 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 I thought you were hanging back. Not, oh. not all the way back, but another room. I was just transported to a a planet somewhere, on a beach, and there was a gathering of people. You didn't go anywhere. I did. We didn't I see did go leave. somewhere. It didn't, it, did it fool my senses? You felt as if it was the did most it still real smell thing. Old? It was but to it, us, he was still there. Correct. I was just transported there. It did not smell like this room, it smelled like a beach, another planet somewhere. It was fresh, and there were people in the oceans. Just now, you didn't see me leave? No, no, you were here the whole time. Maybe it only works on Togorians. I... No. Oh. Go ahead and roll your willpower. Oh gosh, I'm scared now. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, willpower? What's my... What is that? Oh, okay, got it. And it's going to be five red. Five red. <sighs> oh, I'm going to lose a hand. I'm locked in. Uh, I am locked in. Okay. <laughs> what? How are you doing this? Oh! Not too bad. So, okay. <clears throat> you, technically a failure. It's but technically a failure and three disadvantage. Um, as you pick up this. Item. Oh, I've put the tracker away. Mm. Got my blaster in one hand. The room around you disappears. Mm -hmm. You find yourself on a planet. A planet with a beach. And you smell the ocean. But on top of this, you also smell fire and what seems like dead bodies. Mm. And there is a large gathering in front of you. And as you try to focus on this, who these people are, your vision just starts to warp, and you're pulled back to this mausoleum. But it was just so much of the strain on your brain, and you sit there and you try as hard as you can to shake off this feeling, because it was so visceral mm -hmm. that you take five strain. Five strain? Jeez. Holy crap, okay. Was it the beach? Hmm. What? Was it the beach? Did you see the beach? The fire. There was... Are my senses back? It's slowly like, coming back. Okay. Everything oh. seems oh. to kind of... You now smell both the room and the beach <clears throat> and the fire all mixing together as you're in this chamber. Captain Hurd's not crazy. I... See? I didn't I think he was crazy, for the record. See? 
I did. But now I don't think so anymore. All right. Well, let's find some way to transport this thing in a manner that we're not touching it and all having hallucinations of being on a beach. Wait a second. I want to try it. OK. Be my guest. You go to pick up this thing. And as you do, you kind of take off the glove hand of your yes. uh, undersuit. <laughs> and you touch it. It's your willpower. It's going to be five red. Oh my God. Five what? Five red dice. Oh, yeah, dice. it's willpower. willpower. Is it here? Uh, Our willpower is up here. Willpower. So three green? Shabby. Uh, three green. Yeah. Three, Oops. Green. Oops. Sorry. three green. And then five, five red. red. Yup. Well, I'm gonna die. Use them boosts. Take those boosts. Use them boosts. Take them boosts. Oh, okay. oh no, he has boosts. <laughs> All three of them? Yeah. Yes. Right. I want to see simple. what happens if you win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you locked in? I am locked in. All right. Let's dance. Ooh. <clears throat> You're you get to party on the beach. That's what, what you get to do. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the chamber. And you find yourself still in your armor. Yeah. But looking out at a group of people that are right in front of you. And you smell this beach, this water, as its waves are lapping up against the sand and hitting your boots. And you see bodies that are floating out in the water as if there had been some sort of death, some sort of chaos that has been happening. And off in the distance, you see fire. And there are a group of figures around you who all wear cloaks. Oh, what? Cloaks. And you're pulled out of it. Uh, Was it the beach? What did you see? I saw a bunch of people. I saw a beach, I saw fire in the distance, and I felt the waves of the water on my boots. And these people were in cloaks. Cloaks? And as you open your hand to reveal the item, you all realize for the first time that it is a Kuiper crystal. Oh, dang! It is, what is, what power does this crystal possess? Now do I know what a Kyber crystal is? What manner of crystal is this? This is what the Jedi's build their lightsabers from. I haven't seen one in a long, long time. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never Nothing. seen one before, but I... You've never seen a Kyber crystal before? No, but I've certainly Captain. heard of them. Oh, I've never seen one before. As everyone... Oh. <laughs> We're all doing it. <laughs> Do it. We're all oh, doing it. Cool. Cool. Cool are on the beach. Come on, <laughs> Lieutenant. Just make sure we have enough water. Yeah. <laughs> Willpower? Get her some more. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take the two abilities. Oh, you guys just got some more. Yep, we did. Nice. So you're taking two abilities and how many of the boosts? Oh, uh, there's no boosts. I have three on mine. Use nice. All, you use do. all three. Use all three. You do? I do. There's boosts? I'm gonna say Are there? don't use them until they confirm I, if they're there or not. No, okay, okay. so it's just the ability. Yeah, because yep. you use the boosts. Oh yeah. Well, then I'm locked in. Do it. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> shouldn't have done it. <clears throat> you this is really bad. <laughs> pick up the crystal, <laughs> expecting to see whatever is this beach. Captain! Right. <laughs> You're transported to a world of void, of blackness, and uh, just a sheer presence of force pushes down on you, crushing you. You feel like you're drowning oh, in a sea. Jesus! And you're at your near breaking point mm -hmm. when you return back to 
the room mm -hmm. around you. <coughs> You're gonna take a lot of strain. Six strain. Okay. <laughs> and three wounds. Oh, and three wounds. Do we see that she's been wounded? Do we see no. that she's uh, blood is, starts to come out oh. of her nose? <sighs> okay. Captain, you got some shit on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, are you all right? Yeah. I, I saw nothing. Just You're hurt. Nothingness. Give me those. You didn't see the beach? No. No, just darkness. And a force that was like crushing me. I was drowning and it wasn't like I was underwater. I was just in a void of nothingness. Captain, sit down. <sighs> Decide to miss evil. That we saw beaches. Yes. We didn't feel evil. We didn't feel as you any of that. Try to <laughs> contemplate what's going on. A comms breaks through <sighs> to you. Yeah. Just Sir, me. I'm getting a message from <laughs> and it seems as if the whole mountain is starting to shake. This is Indiana Jones. And Sir, I, I we need to go right now. All right. So I take the Kyber crystal, and then I pick up the captain <coughs> and put her arm around me. And then, Herg, take point, get us out of here. I'm staying with the captain. Okay. So what, you want to take her? Yes. All right, fine, I, you can take her. I'll go, I'll take up the rear. Herg, lead us out. Let's go. And as you exit the door, you see that um, the troopers there is motioning. I picked up, so a signal is broken through. We need to get back to the encampment now. We need to go. She starts kind of running back oh, out shit. through <clears throat> the enclave, heading back towards the main area. We have to go left now. We must go left. Yes. Yeah. Go, All right. go! And as <clears throat> everything seems to kind of, adrenaline kicks in as you're moving through, um, you barely have a moment mm -hmm. to kind of run back out of mm -hmm. the, um, the courtyard as you see a pile of rocks and what looks like one of the scythe legs have been ripped off of the creature and used to be planted in this pile of rubble. Oh and as you continue to run through, Bye, out the front of this building and you're moving down the steps, you see two individuals Caleb. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. And Virgo. Oh, thank goodness. We found a way. We kept. We fought. We we got here. We just kept walking. Um. What's going on? Can you lead us back? We lost a man. We'll explain later. Can you lead us back? We must hurry. Come with. Come with us. Yes. And they turn back around and they start leading you through this tunnel. And as you continue to push your way through farther and farther, heading back, um, again, kind of time starts to seem strange to you. You don't know if it's just the effects of the adrenaline or the deprivation of the cave, or perhaps... Something to do with touching that damn crystal. <laughs> crystal. With this crystal. Because it, it seemed much, much, took much more time to get this way into the cave. But That's what seems always like, how it goes, yeah. <clears throat> in what seems like a matter of minutes, you're already back towards a very familiar, <clears throat> rubbled out cave entrance. But this time, you're on the other side. The other side. Okay. And as you see, you run past, you right. see debris and uh, the remnants of the remnant a trooper. Of a trooper. Yeah. <laughs> like. Aww. We're almost back. You continue to run, and as you get closer and closer to the encampment. As you approach it, your calm starts to come back in. It's fading, it's distant, but it seems like you're getting closer to the encampment. Uh -huh. And it starts to cut in. <laughs> Under attack. Crap. Base. All help. The Imperial base is under attack. So you're moving closer now. Oh, You've no. finally reached back to the encampment oh. that is 
beneath the Imperial base where everyone kind of uses it as an assembly area mm -hmm. and an outpost before making their excursions out. So you're now back at familiar territory, mm -hmm. but the outpost is in chaos as everyone seems to be frantically kind of reacting to something that's happening. Yep. I pull the captain aside. Captain, we can use this chaos as a diversion. That's true. But we have to get the Cryver Crystal back. Exactly. How do we get out of here? <clears throat> Herg? Are you listening in on this? <laughs> yes! Yeah. You're, every second you're moving closer and closer to this. Tio, do you have a ship out of here? We have to leave the base. Where do you live? Where are you stationed? At the base? We were, we were brought in by the Empire to find the item which we just found, so we're coming. We came in temporarily, but where are you based out of? Yes. I have a ship. I remember us having a ship, if it's still there. All right. It must be in the hangar. So clarify. Who is attacking? Who is it? Do we know who's attacking? We don't. Mm -mm. Something is. So we don't know. We must be the rebel scum. So we're not up. We're not up to the top it's, yet. So you've emerged out of the caves. Okay, so we can back see. Back to this encampment. No, no, you're no. all still okay. underground. underground. All underground. of this is underground. Okay. There's one elevator turbo mm -hmm. lift that takes you back up to the base. Right. It's okay. built into the mountain. So the okay. base is up here. You're down here. There's like a an okay. operating uh, forward station kind of right. area down here where everyone. Okay. Assembles to head out into the cave. So you now reached this can spot. We, can we all fit in the elevator or no? Uh, the elevator's farther into the camera. You could, yes. All yeah, we can all fit in the elevator. So then we should get to the mm -hmm. elevator. Mm -hmm. Okay, all we right. should get to the elevator and get to the surface. And I'll show you where the ship is. All right. As you come into the encampment, mm -hmm. it's in chaos. Oh! <gasps> Technicians okay, are it's... running around. It seems like the military presence that was there. There were stormtroopers that were stationed are no longer there. As oh. Well. And the civilian population that they've been using as a workforce is still there, but uh, everything is in chaos. And as people are running around, um, two familiar faces emerge from a prefabricated building as Sergeant Cool Blue Stripes <gasps> and Avila Yanuzi emerge and see you. <sighs> And with that, we'll end today. Oh! Yes. Oh, oh my gosh! We did it! Tier three! Dang! Oh. I mean, we're still going! Dang. We're still going! <laughs> oh man. All right. Uh, tier three light side. Thank you for that last yes. minute uh, boost. Oh, boo! That was amazing. Oh, yay! So. Things have not been going well for the Empire on Mon Calamari. Yeah! Mm. As they first showed up, uh, and the capital ships were able to escape. Um, <laughs> then they tried to assault the planet, and the initial attacks were repulsed. Uh, and now it seems like as they kind of get into the familiar routine of setting up a blockade around a planet, um, they're caught unprepared as a rebel fleet armed with the same Mon Calmarian cruisers that escaped, return to liberate their planet yes. from is, the blockade. Is Cole alive? <laughs> is Cole still alive? It's still a Unclear. Unclear. Um, <coughs> chaotic battle. Okay. But <sighs> rumors start spreading of a certain Mon Calmarian technician <laughs> that saved the day. <laughs> yes. As the ship seemed like it was uh, <coughs> going to be in a position to um, be destroyed. The quick thinking of a certain <coughs> co <laughs> saved that ship. And Woo! with that, two things have happened. One, first, Mon Katmarians are freed in our timeline. That's a thing. Um, second, you guys, oh, you feel a shift. Mm -hmm. You quite literally feel a shift in the force. Yeah, I yeah. know. As, uh, Uh, <laughs> I want to reroll. Oh! 
Uh, you guys now um, instantly kill things when you hit them. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. I like One that. Challenge. That would have been <laughs> helpful when we fought that giant insect creature. <laughs> Will that come in handy next week? Find out when you tune in to the Disney Plus X here on Hyper RPG. Oh, man. Um, everybody, that was a blast. That was Woo! fantastic. Uh, can we just give a big round of applause? Yeah! 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 Yeah. I appreciate you dealing with the growing pains, so yeah. thank you. It was fun. No, it was great. It was great. John, can you tell everybody who you are, what you do, and where people can find you? And Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You guys can always find me at The Roca Says on uh, Twitter and Instagram. Every Friday is on Collider Movie Talk and my podcast, The Cinephiles, it's, which is on iTunes and on Stitcher. And very, very soon, Outlaw Nation, which is my own personal show. It's going to start uh, in the next week or two on uh, Schmoes No Plus on their podcast channel. And we're covering everything. News, sports, politics, awesome. movie, TV, everything you're angry about or passionate about, we want to talk about it on Outlaw Nation. Nice. So, nice. so nice. there we go. Yeah. Thank you, and th once again, thanks so much. Yeah. Dude, yes. dude, what a fucking, what a great time. Yeah, this is great. I had a blast. I'm very curious. Um, we should talk afterwards with me. We'll yeah. show up next week. Uh, <laughs> Go back around the room, Emma. Sure, I'm Emma Fife. Uh, you can find me at my name, Emma Fife, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, also, of course, uh, here on Hyper RPG doing this show. <laughs> uh, I did a bunch of uh, reactions to uh, a lot of the stuff coming out of Star Wars Celebration. Mm -hmm. uh, Roka was there as well. Yep. We did a reaction to the uh, 40th anniversary panel as well as uh, the Last Jedi yep. trailer panel awesome. screening, etc. this morning. Uh, it was amazing. And those are all on Hyper RPG's YouTube channel, so be sure to go check those out. Uh, also, you can find me uh, on Collider TV Talk uh, on Mondays. Uh, and actually, very exciting news. Uh, we are doing a trial run of doing TV Talk live daily yes. uh, the week of May 1st. So May 1st through 5th, we'll be live every 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific time talking about all the TV shows. There's so many great new shows coming out that week. So we'll be talking about like American Gods Ooh. and Handmaid's Tale. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and of course, all the, you know, DC superhero shows and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Fargo's coming back, Leftover. Right. All kinds of really good stuff. So, uh, and if that goes well, then we will go daily with TV talking definitely. Awesome. So, please, please, please tune in. It'll be awesome. So rad. Uh -huh. Hector, if you guys want to see more Star Wars stuff, you can either wait till we put it on YouTube or Tuesday live here on Hyper RPG at 8 o'clock, a show mm -hmm. called Cineverse, where we're probably going to be covering a lot of the sort of recapping what uh, what is being uh, released over the fantastic weekend that is Star Wars Celebrations. So you can tune in live for that and interact with that, so check that out. Um, so do that. Uh, I am Kim Cannon. I am an actor based here in LA. Uh, I actually know how to use a lightsaber, <laughs> and I am still very bitter that I'm not a Star Wars celebration right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second best thing. Yeah. yeah. What a time to be alive. So. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Might as well be here. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you can find me on my social at Kim Cannon. That is Kim with a Y. And I am Bert Jennings, <laughs> narrative director at Turn Me Up Games. Mm -hmm. You can find me at Ninjanomics 101. Uh, I don't, this is pretty much all I do. This is <laughs> work and I can do this. So you can find me here every Friday. Friday. Sci Friday. Sci Friday, Sci -Friday at nine. Uh, if you liked this uh, program, please continue to tune in. Um, yeah, also, thanks to all our new subscribers. We have a bunch of new subscribers. Uh, Hyper RPG produces an insane amount of content every week. Um, so if you like this, you can please continue to check it out. Saturday, I believe we have Masters of the Metaverse, mm -hmm. uh, Cronit Super. Yep, mm -hmm. and uh, get ready, ready to ramble. Ready to ramble. ramble. Ready to yeah. ramble. Um, so Check yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff tomorrow. Check it out. Um, hey, Command, what's going on back there? We're good. Do you want to? I'm good. Well, did you, you want to read off stuff. anything, or we? Monday at 11 a.m. Oh yeah. Monday at 11. Summit. Oh yeah. That's Very gonna cool. be rad. Tune in. It's gonna be live 11 a.m. Pacific. What is that? 2 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> 2 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we covered that. We covered that. But we that Valiant that. Summit, they're gonna be releasing a, probably a bunch of rad news covering all things Valiant in all different media. So cool. tune in. That's gonna be nuts. Cool. Nuts. Nuts. So I guess with that, then, um, thank you for watching, and may the force be with you.